Hello, everyone. Welcome to Dungeons & Dragons Extra Life stream. We've been streaming uh, with Will Jones and the Encounter Roleplay Awesomeness uh, this morning. We had uh, Mike Merle's Dungeon Mastering from Game Hole Con in Wisconsin last night. Today, we are here in the Wizards of the Coast offices, and we'll be streaming two games for you today, all in support of Extra Life for kids. Uh, this is the Extra Life game day, and I'm joined. I'm Greg Tito, first of all. Hi. How are you? Uh, I'm here at Dungeons & Dragons, and I'm joined by uh, Mike Sutton and Betsy Rand. Uh, Betsy Rand, you are from uh, the Seattle Children's Hospital. And uh, Mike, you are the leader of the chapter of Seattle for Extra Life, which is kind of crazy. What, is that, what does that mean for folks uh, who may not know everything about Extra Life? Uh, so my job is basically leading the team that is responsible for uh, gaining recruitment in the Seattle area specifically. Mm -hmm. um, so essentially, we kind of talk people into uh, signing up to participate in Extra Life, talk about how awesome Extra Life is, and uh, why sh people should be excited about it. Nice, well I'm excited about it, and I think everyone here is, uh, but that also could be the coffee, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, we need more of it. Uh, and Betsy, what is your role here at uh, uh, Seattle Children's Hospital? Yeah, so I am, I work really closely with Mike and the Guild team, and I am the point person at Seattle Children's to help really connect the cause between the impact of Extra Life's uh, fundraising and the impact at Seattle Children's and Children's Miracle Network hospitals across the nation in general. So um, I'm here locally, and every dollar that's raised by Extra Life today and during the mar marathon and throughout the year stays local and helps local patients and families. That's fantastic. And uh, Dungeons & Dragons has been doing this for four years. Like This is the fourth year. started with Greg Bilsland. Uh, so shout out to Greg if you're watching for starting this happening. I think he dungeon mastered for 24 hours straight, uh, which is not recommended by anyone, including him. Uh, Sean, I think, was there, right? Were you there? Yeah, he was making that happen. Uh, so yeah, we've been a uh, long time relationship. We love uh, everything that you guys have been doing, and it's a great uh, way to get in front of uh, raising all this money for kids. Yeah, you guys are always at the very top of the leaderboard for uh, Seattle children, so uh, it's great to be here. So, yeah, thank you guys for all that you do. No problem. And today, I mean, last night, they went over $100,000 raised this year uh, for Extra Life, uh, and we're hoping to put that through the roof uh, this, this today. Uh, so what does that mean for some of these patients that you're in contact with? So we are, um, uh, the core of Seattle Children's Hospital is that we support patients and families regardless of their ability to pay. And so it is absolutely essential that we have support from our community in locally to help those patients and families who walk in the door. So uncompensated care is at the mission of what we do at Seattle Children's and it will never change. It has been the core of our mission since 1907 when Anna Kleist founded the hospital and that mission will continue to be the same. And I, I say this to our donors when I come in contact and, and we talk about our hospital and what makes it so powerful and so amazing in this community as we talk about the fact that this mission will never change. And I don't know that many people can say that about the organizations that they work for or volunteer for, that, you know, there's constant flow of mission um, readjustment and re-strategizing, but we are um, all about helping any family regardless of their ability to pay, and that will never change. So... That's amazing. It's really important. Cool. Th well, thank you again so much for that. And uh, there's lots of ways that you uh, watching can help support Extra Life. Right now, today, uh, we have these amazing T-shirts. I believe they're still up for sale. Uh, uh, there's a link that we can drop into the thing. These are designed by Emmy Tanji. She does the Extra Life T-shirts for everybody, as well as all the graphic design uh, for Dungeons and & Dragons. And uh, shout out to Emmy because they're amazing shirts. Uh, I think they're $25. Uh, everything that uh, would go to Wizards is all going towards Extra Life for that as well. We all have Extra Life pages. Uh, uh, I have players and dungeon matchers ready to start playing right over there. Yay! You guys all have pages. We'll put links to them in there. Uh, all the character creation kind of stuff was already taken care of for Dungeons and Dragons, but you can still uh, change up the game by uh, giving us health, health potions if we need them. Uh, Lauren Urban, who's going to be dungeon mastering, maybe throwing some big monsters at us. And if you're feeling uh, like there aren't enough monsters, you can always donate to her page as well and give uh, some fun things to add to that encounter, which always makes it more fun uh, as well. There's two ways you can purchase uh, uh, content that the Dungeons and Dragons team has made. I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but uh, uh, the Dungeons and Dragons team basically uh, uh, donated their time and did a uh, PDF called the Turtle Package, uh, where you can play as a anthropomorphic turtle man, uh, and they have all the rules for that. As a player, it's totally Adventurers League legal. I believe it's ten dollars. All the uh, proceeds from Wizards goes directly to Extra Life. We just put in a whole big bunch of proceeds from that, which put us uh, very close to the hundred thousand mark, which is pretty cool. That is awesome. 
Um, and then if you guys were, sorry, I don't know why I'm pointing that. <laughs> I'm new to this like moving microphone thing back and forth. Uh, there's also the Grung. I don't know if you guys, this was one Grung the musical uh, uh, last uh, session for the Encounter Roleplay folks. They did a great job singing, so kudos to you guys. Uh, even those of you who can't sing, I'm looking at you, uh, Tall Squall. Uh, but it was, uh, you had the right uh, power. I like that. Uh, but if you want to play as a Grung, um, you can download One Grung Above by Chris Lindsay. Uh, is also in uh, the Dungeon Masters Guild. Uh, I believe it's $5. You get a PDF for how to play as a player character as a uh, frog person, uh, which is always fun and exciting for, for folks. Uh, we're playing a lot of weird and amazing stuff. We're excited to do that. Um, but one thing I wanted to ask you is, as we look to the future, you know, this has been a successful so far in 2017, but in 2018, what can people do to, to start their extra life uh, thing going for, for next year's campaign? Uh, there's a lot of things you can start doing. It's, it's actually, uh, it's important to know, many people don't realize this, that uh, fundraising actually goes to the end of the year, not through the end of game day. So even after game day, you can continue fundraising. Um, and then it starts at the beginning of the year in 2018. So there's no reason um, that you have to, you know, wait until really close to game day to start start fundraising. Uh, I find it easier to do in kind of piecemeal, piecemeal bits mm -hmm. throughout the year than I do just in one big day. So everybody can do something different, just kind of whatever's comfortable. Uh, for you. Nice, yeah, and to set up your page early and often, that's what I always like to say. Uh, and Betsy, you guys have uh, a lot of patients uh, who, who maybe play Dungeons and Dragons, is that true? We do, actually. We have a lot of gamers in our community, and the, the core of Extra Life started when there was a patient in the hospital that really needed to occupy themselves and keep busy. So games are donated, and that's kind of where it, you know, a piece of where it started. Um, I would also say in order to kind of take your game to the next level and your involvement with Extra Life is make sure your profile is um, customized, that you have a picture there, you have a blurb about why you Extra Life, that's super important. Also set a goal, and then we can help you to achieve your goal. So if you're close, you know, what are those, what are those things that you can do? Connect with your family members, connect with your loved ones, and, you know, say donate your coffee for the day to my uh, fundraising page. So, you know, we really do work in tandem where Mike's team gets people to get involved, and I help, you know, you to achieve your goal and then celebrate your success. So there's, there's a lot we can do together. That's awesome. Yeah, one, one last thing for me, uh, if anybody out there is interested in being a volunteer for Extra Life uh, in your, for your local hospital, um, there are over 170 hospitals to raise uh, money for, and many of those have guilds uh, representing those hospitals that you can, um, uh, you can volunteer for to help uh, actually part uh, help raise participants. Um, nice. Yeah. And it's not just uh, uh, in the U.S., correct? There's also uh, chapters in Children's Hospital internationally as well, right? Yeah, it's mostly U.S. and Canada, but I do think there are some in other, a couple other countries as well. Is that it's right? definitely growing, yeah. Sweet. Um, and is, is uh, 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 there something that uh, people can do uh, beyond asking for money? I mean, you can, it's right, you can set up your page to just play and ask your friends and things like that. It's that easy, right? It is very easy. Um, it's actually surprisingly, uh, surprisingly easy, and it's it's amazing how many people are eager to donate to something, uh, uh, to a charity as good as uh, Children's Miracle Network. Um, uh, if you want to get more involved, I, I would say the the best place to go is community.extra-life.org, mm -hmm. and then you can sync up with all sorts of people that are into Extra Life, um, as well as the different local chapters. Cool, awesome. Uh, how are we on time there, guys? I don't have a... Seven minutes. Seven minutes? Sweet. Uh, well, again, you guys can donate to our Extra Life pages. Uh, we all have them going, uh, and uh, please continue to do stuff throughout the course of this day. we got lots of programming coming at you. Uh, again, we have Dungeon Master Lauren Urban for the next three hours. After that, we have Sean Wood, one of our concept artists from Dungeons & Dragons, will be Dungeon Mastering uh, for another group of uh, fun Wizards employees and people from the area. Then we'll be throwing it back to Game Hole Con in Wisconsin. Chris Perkins will be Dungeon Mastering that group uh, with uh, a bunch of uh, luminaries, including Ed Greenwood, father of the Forgotten Realms, will be playing in that as well. So every, all those people have uh, Extra Life pages set up, so if you want to uh, uh, donate to them, please go ahead and do so, or during the stream itself. It's a lot of fun. Uh, do you want to talk a little bit about uh, a special guest that we have coming today? I want, I, I want to talk about two, two Seattle Children's patients. So okay. the first one is that um, Emmy is a patient and she's at the hospital. She was born 
um, in July, and she hasn't left the hospital yet. So uh, I just want to give uh, send my warm thoughts to her family, and um, she is part of the Wizards of the Coast family, and um, I know her family is struggling every day to keep her going and provide her with the care, and, and our team is taking good care of her. So I want to start with that. Um, and that, just real quick, I mean, the Magic the Gathering team for Extra Life, they had their game day uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, they dedicated all of their fundraising to uh, Robert Schuster and his family. Uh, Emmy is the uh, uh, little girl who uh, was diagnosed. I forget the name of the disease. Do you know, trick by anything? But it was a, uh, a, a genetic defect, uh, and she's been having uh, lots of surgeries in order to deal with it. So it's been great. You could see him uh, uh, talk about that more on the Extra Life uh, Magic the Gathering page, uh, which is twitch.tv slash magic. I think you can look under the clips there uh, to find out more about that story. But yeah, we uh, uh, support everything that is going on with Team Emmy and uh, hoping more and more. And it's amazing that, you know, that she's had her entire life at a Seattle Children's Hospital. Yeah, she literally it has been her home since she was born. So the impact of our care team on her life and the Wizards team and Magic team is really, really deep rooted. Um, so another patient that I want to give a shout out to and who's with us today, her name is Kennedy. And Kennedy is 11 years old. She turned 11 on October 11th. And she is super excited to be part of D&D &D today. And she's a cancer survivor. And she is just amazing. And she has been kind of an extension of our Extra Life Guild team. She came to PAX with us, and she was a recruiting machine. <laughs> she was just fantastic in sharing her story and engaging with people that wanted to learn a little bit more about Extra Life. So I'm super excited. She and her dad are here today, and they're going to participate. So I'm really excited, too. That's going to be fun. Uh, we will uh, love it, just embrace, get her into the group, and uh, uh, make it as fun as possible. Um, it's it's really exciting that uh, so many young people are, are, you know, getting into Dungeons and Dragons, but then also for a good cause. I think that's amazing, and I hope it's an inspiration for more people. You'll see a boost in recruitment hopefully coming up soon. I hope so. I mean, if, the more people that uh, that see what Extra Life is and see people participating, uh, it's. I mean, the whole thing has been grassroots from the beginning, and it's just kind of it's something that you see that's impossible to not, you know, get get that hook in you. I mean, you see it happening. People have a great time doing it, mm -hmm. and it's for such an amazing cause that it's, it's, it's addicting. It's true, right? <laughs> yeah, you it feels like you get those endorphins flowing whenever you donate and mm -hmm. things like that. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but we are over our goal of $100,000 raised uh, here, and that means that everything here is, 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 is just uh, a gravy. It's amazingly uh, gravy delicious that will help kids uh, as they... <laughs> <laughs> Go forward, uh, and uh, I, you know. So I'm hoping to get up to 150, 200, 300 million thousand dollars raised today, and that's all on you. Uh, but thank you to everyone who has donated so far. Uh, you are amazing. You make this uh, all worthwhile, uh, as well as helping out uh, uh, for a good cause, as you mentioned. So good stuff. Uh, what's up? Three minutes. Nice. Good. So we're going to take a short break, uh, get everybody set up at the table. Uh, any last words you guys want to mention before we throw? I feel like we covered some good <laughs> ground, but there's always more to talk about. Uh, I just wanted to thank the Wizards of the Coast team. Um, I mean, you guys, again, are at the very top uh, every year for Seattle Children's and $100,000. That's awesome. We try. We try. Yeah, I want to just say thank you so much. Thank you for your passion, your commitment for celebrating your successes and on game day today. So in the past, it's been, you know, throughout the year and earlier in the, in the fall. And so um, I'm excited that you're part of the game day movement and participation with across the United States. And hopefully that will, you know, kind of even re-energize and all of that. So you don't need any help there, but it's just, <laughs> we are so grateful. And um, just thank you for being part of our family. Well, thank you for all the work that you guys are doing. I think it's fantastic. Uh, any last uh, uh, places we can send people if they want to get more information? Uh, Community.extra-life.org. That would be the, be the best place to start. Um, you can connect with people locally uh, or nationally there. Awesome. And Extra Life for Kids is just launched yesterday on Instagram. So oh, we're nice. at about 1,017 1, followers, and our goal for today is 2,000. So anyone who's listening, please follow us on Instagram. I'm going to totally follow you. I just joined Instagram, too. We're like Instagram buddies. I love it. Thank you guys so much. Uh, thanks, Mike. Thanks, Betsy. Uh, we're going to take a short break uh, and come back to you with the uh, game Dungeon Master by Lauren Urban Obo Crazy! <laughs> Woo! Thanks, guys. We'll be back in a little bit.
Hello and welcome to our extra live stream. Yay! 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 I like the audience I have. My name is Lauren. <laughs> I'm also known as Ovo Crazy. I do a lot of fun things here on the Wizards of the Coast stream. And today I get to do all the really fun things. We get to raise money for charity. So if you go to our Extra Life page, you can still donate because we're always raising money for charity, but our game is about to begin. So let's see who I'm playing with today. Uh, Greg, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself and your character for us. Hello, my name is uh, Greg Tito. I am playing Hansolf O'Loren. Uh, thank you to that donation, uh, uh, Hanselman. Um, he is a level 12 Furbog monk. Uh, so he's very tall, around 7'11", uh, and uh, disheveled looking, has uh, mostly brown leathers on, uh, and uh, he's leaning very heavily uh, upon what looks like a piece of driftwood that he may have just found uh, from the beach, uh, but uh, has, if you telltale signs, is a little bit weathered uh, around two points where he holds it. So that's it, that's my character. Nice, let's just keep going down the line. Go ahead and introduce yourself. So my name is Andy Abramovich and I uh, work on Magic the Gathering Arena here at Wizards of the Coast. And oh, it is a privilege uh, to be able to play D&D &D today for such oh, a great uh, cause, um, Extra Life. Uh, my character today is Lunk Lightstim, who is a, uh, a great weapon fighter. He's got a giant great sword, uh, Flame Tongue, so it's gonna be on fire a lot, unfortunately. Lunk is afraid of fire. Uh, <laughs> he's also a total idiot, so apologies in advance. I love it. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Kat, and I'm playing Vox the Tabaxi Barbarian. Uh, you know, kind of like seven, seven two around there. Very fluffy, so like looks taller, maybe like a seven five. <laughs> like, think a main coon kitty, but like giant and very ragey with green yellow eyes that turn red when they rage, but like loves to keep the fur all together. So like has little braids and like little stuff in the fur, like all pretty. So uh, yeah, and he likes to uh, kill things. Nice. It's gonna be cool. great. <laughs> uh, I'm Trick Jarrett. I play Damalin Shield Hewer, the Dwarven Samurai, and uh, she is uh, awesome, as you will see. <laughs> as you will see. Simple and to the point. I That's like right. It. I'm Mike Selinker. I'm the president of Lone Shark Games. Used to be a creative director for Dungeons and Dragons and things like that. Um, I uh, I am playing Stepto Thunderstriker, a uh, Protector Asimar cleric. Uh, I am uh, uh, not as tall as all of these people, I mean, but still quite imposing. I'm a dwarf. Yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, still quite imposing. I have a, uh, a ban hammer uh, in my hand, which is a uh, weapon <laughs> that I use to remove people from the uh, planet and chat streams everywhere. <laughs> and uh, uh, I am playing in, I'm playing this character because uh, it's a dedication to our friend and legendary gamer Stephen Toulouse who passed away uh, just a couple of days ago. His name was Steptoe, and so I decided to play him. You will never see me in a goatee again after today. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it'll be good. Uh, my name is, uh, hi, I'm Kennedy, and I'm playing as Darkfire. Nice. Uh, my age is 16, and i uh, my height is 6.7. And uh, what is uh, what is Darkfire's uh, class? Darkfire's class is um, a ranger. And uh, yeah. does she have a companion? Yes. His name uh, is Tink. <laughs> oh. <laughs> is it a dog? Yes. Oh, I got a dog too. I know. It's not <laughs> just a dog. No, no, no. It's a blink dog. Nice. Blink the Tink. And we... Oh. <laughs> I love that. And the there's, the there's two Tinkerbell dogs in yeah. this game. That's right. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Let, let, <laughs> I love it. Let the butt oh. sniffing begin. <laughs> oh, and uh, really quickly, I am Fee of Wug. I am a furbolg rogue. Uh, and special thanks to David Weenip for, for the name and the class combination. Uh, and as a fur bog, I am, uh, I think I'm more affiliated with the, the two dogs sure. in the party. <laughs> as far as I know, they're the, the leaders here and yeah. everyone else is, is their actual companions. Right, it goes, it goes, it goes dogs, fur bogs, fur bogs, a bunch of other things, and the cat at the bottom. Oh! <laughs> oh. Some fighting words there. I'm, I'm gonna just 
Yeah. Where is it? There we go. Roar! <laughs> <laughs> Terrifying! Nice, oh, nice. I haven't even begun, and already there's fighting. I like it. All right. Well, without further ado, shall we begin? Let's. You tell us. You tell us. Yeah. No, let's hang out for a little bit. Right. Okay. Yeah, I'll just try. Yeah, I'll just take it off. Yeah. <laughs> I got this costume on. Yeah. You are moments away from your goal. goal. This has been an arduous journey, making it through the jungles of Chult, diving deep into this tomb, finding the lair of this awful baby god that is gathering souls from all over Chult. This has been your goal this whole time. You are moments away from destroying the thing that is sucking up souls and causing the death curse. The horrible, deformed god lies there dying, and as you're ready to make the final strike, a figure appears, a dark, menacing figure with awful features of bone in a grimace and a huge cloak and it it floats before you in between you and your goal right there and it says i will not let you destroy everything that i have worked for this whole time you have proven yourselves worthy to die by a serax hand <laughs> And we can all roll initiative. That's the way to start it off. Oh, man. Oh, no. You we're have my attention. We're facing a demi lich in the first encounter? Oh, my God. I got a one. Oh, 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 only one God. Uh, all right. So, it, you know, I got another stream I could get to. Yeah. <laughs> we'll make this, we'll make this quick. Okay. All right. So, hands off. Really uh, I rolled a uh, one, but I have a, uh, 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 okay, so I have a th four. Four. Yeah. No, I'm sorry, three. Three. Oh, well, that makes all the difference. Yeah. Lung. I rolled my crit for today, so I'm at 24. <laughs> oh. Very nice. Vox. A nine. And Damelin. 16. I mean, 16. And, you mean, <laughs> and Steptoe. A mighty nine. Nine. And Darkfire. 19. Excellent. Oh, wow. And V. 11. 11. All right. Well, Lunk, despite the fact that this lich that could, appears before you frightens you all, you still manage to steal yourself and go first. That's right. Yeah. Okay, well. Kill the god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's on the list. Uh, so, uh, so Lunk uh, pulls out his great sword and immediately ignites an awesome uh, dark demon fire. No, no relation. Uh, oh, nice. And uh, he immediately recoils from the fire. But nonetheless, runs bravely at the lich and starts hacking away. Sure. Um, if nothing Ooh. goes wrong, Ooh. you'll get three attacks. Ooh. 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 I, like it. I actually like this better. I like yeah. that better. Oh, that was good. It's mood lighting. It's great. <laughs> oh yeah, it, it, it a has many yeah. powers. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. You so got I've got this. a sixteen, seventeen, three. Okay, so I've got a um twenty-five. That hits. A 23. That hits. And a 12. So and a 12 nice. misses. All right. So the, the fire overwhelms you for a moment. Yeah. You're like, oh. <laughs> so close. Uh, so for each attack, um, I get a regular damage and then fire damage. So I hit twice, I'll roll my damage. Sure. Uh, six. Okay, so, so far 11. I get to roll two again because of the great weapon fighter. All right. There with your second one. Have I mentioned that all these characters are 12th level, so there's going to be a <laughs> lot of powers flying about. That's right. 27. Uh, 36 for the first hit. 36. Wow. No joke. Show off. <laughs> <laughs> Barbarian. Uh, fighter. 12. Dang. Another uh, 23. 23. So that's 28. And then how about another 38? I like it. I like I'm it. impressed. That is, uh, you just rolled like three sixes uh, in a row. It happens. Wait, that was insane. Yeah. All right, did you know that we were going to kill a Sarah in the first one? <laughs> <Yeah. level? laughs> Listen, I would not throw him at you if I didn't expect him. <laughs> so, one oh, of you man. to die. So. It's, it's, it's <laughs> only the I first has peaked. Yeah. Lunk right. has seen the best you're going to see from Lunk today. You right, slash like, into this being, and he grimaces at you. It, it doesn't quite recoil as much as you would hope, sure. but you definitely do damage and it <laughs> at you. Sure. And Darkfire, you also are faster than the Lich. What would you like to do? 
Um, kill the god, kill the god. <laughs> that is an option. I... You've got spells, you've got your dog, you can attack it. I would like to attack it with Tink. I love it. Yeah. So Tink, the blink dog, goes and appears just next to this horrible creature. Go ahead and have Tink attack. That's seven to whatever. Tink That's attack. fun to say. Tink, Tink attack. Tink attack. Tink attack. Yeah. Twenty. Twenty. Uh, tw- oh, a twenty just misses. Your dog reaches out and oh. bites into what it thinks is. A, a real being, and it just passes through kind of the bottom of its cloak, and you realize, oh, some of this being is incorporeal. Would you like to do something else? Um, use my uh, use Tink again. Sure. Tink is gonna strike out for a second time. Mm-hmm. Uh, twenty-one. That hits. Yeah. Your yes. dog, your, your blink dog kind of has figured out its prey now and it sinks its teeth into a Serac. Go ahead and roll damage. Yeah, so you're gonna roll um, this one and add five to it. Okay. Ten. Awesome. Can you just have Tink bury some of his bones? <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna take him off. I think. Bites down into this lich and pulls out a tiny little bone, maybe like a toe bone or something. And there, there's a there's a moment where your dog wants to go run and find somewhere to bury it, but he's not gonna leave. Not until this thing is dead. All right. Uh, and now it is a Sarax turn, who looks at all of you and says, this is annoying. I want you all to be zapped by lightning. And he's going to do chain lightning. Um, oh, good. Um, I like lightning. That's how you do it. Let's yeah. see. It's 150 feet. Oof. So it's a line. So we're going to we're gonna say every other person. So we're going to say, hands off, uh, Vox, Steptoe and Fee, I need you all to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, well, I don't do those. Okay, let's do this. Oh, man. Uh, it's like a 13. Seven, I'm sure it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I have advantage. Do I roll again on, on advantage? Yeah, we'll roll, roll two dice. Take the highest. No, yeah, it's like the same. Th- 13. So Got a nine. No. 13? Mm, nope. Uh, How about a 12? Mm, nope. None of those sound good. Uh, 15? Oh, you are all zapped by lightning. Oh, my I fur like, just... Yeah. I'm wearing rubber boots. Does that help? <laughs> <laughs> um, that means that uh, it doesn't go into the ground and it just kind of stays on you uh-huh. as you are zapped by... I've just lost my chain lightning. There we go. No, do, do, do. Why do you gotta do this to us? Oh, well, I mean? you know, he's evil. and he's, he's also missing, like, the bottom part of his body, and that's gotta tick him off yeah. on a daily basis. And he has a dog on Yeah. yeah. Well, that's that's, about that's a lot of dice. Stop rolling, please. That's a lot of dice. She's, she's, she's so rolling so them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can stop any time. Uh, that'd be 45 points of lightning what? damage as Light the Emperor from wow. Star Wars. He reaches out with bony okay. fingers and goes... <laughs> Uh, 45? Zaps all the way to you. 45 is a lot. That's yeah. a lot. Well, you know, he is evil and he <laughs> might be a demi lich. Uh, Damelin, it is your turn. <laughs> he, he might be a demi lich. You know. Gotcha. All right. So, Damelin, uh, how far away is Damelin from, from this, uh, this lich? How far away would you like to be? <laughs> <laughs> Two months. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, I think uh, Damelin is going to use her uh, samurai ability, fighting spirit, and, and sort of like. Embrace the the fight that is at hand, uh, and puffs up a little bit with some some temporary hit points. All right, goes up to 108, and then um, will uh, draw the short bow and take a shot at the lich. Sure. Using the uh, fighting spirit, I have advantage. Well, that is a crit. Ooh. Well, that will hit. I would hope so. Yeah. Uh, so that is. Yeah, two, three, Okay, that is far less impressive, but uh, eight points of damage. Okay. What kind of damage? Uh, with an arrow? Wood. Arrow, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's impressive. It hits him like right in the forehead, and you think, yes! And he seems to shrug a lot of that off. Uh, seeing that uh, 
Damlin is going to drop the short bow and draw the flail and charge in for her second attack. Sure. Setting the flail in motion, taking a swing, and a, another crit. That That's good. Keep seriously. Doing that. <laughs> Whoa. Nice. That, that one is. Uh, so Fantastic. this one yeah. is, let's see. By the way, I forgot I have evasion because I am a monkey. Oh, so yeah. So I took half damage. Fair You're enough. a monkey? I'm a monkey. I was able to, uh, all of a sudden, you see a uh, 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 hands off uh, down to like a to the side right as the lightning bolt went by. Oh, it burned and charred a lot of his arm, but not a not full attack. Much. 17 points of damage on that. 17. Yeah. And then the third attack with the, the flail again. Crit, not a crit. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Two out of three. Uh, but it is a 27 to hit. 27. That's not to hit, that's not the damage. Oh, okay. Uh, the damage is uh, nine. Nine, okay. Uh, yeah, you charge him with your flail, seem to do a little bit more damage. He's now uh, glaring at you. His breath stinks, woof. That's, that's <laughs> probably long. Yeah, Fee, unless there's anything else you want to do, Fee is next. I'm great. Okay, I've got this. Fee's got this. He points his wand at the Sarak. Let's see what happens. Okay. <laughs> Sarek points back. It's a <laughs> wand of wonder. Of course oh, it is. Got this. I've no, got this. good. <laughs> no, no harm can come from this. News. I roll a fifty-four. I cast darkness. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now we can't see him. Wait, thanks. I'm, Wait. <laughs> and then, uh, I believe it's the sphere of darkness that just like appears on him. Is that what it is? It's I cast darkness. Let's oh, see. Good, good <laughs> job, <laughs> Fee. Uh, see, I made him go away. Yep. And Problem solved. Go away. None I'm pretty sure you... Damlin goes away at the same time. <laughs> uh, yeah, because it's I believe it's a probably a 15 foot or so. As does like Tink. That. Tink is now engulfed in darkness, right? I've sent them to some other plane of existence. <laughs> I don't know where they are. Yep. As it's far just as a, Fee knows, there's a big hole there. It's so just a big ball of dark. If it matters, uh, Lung's crazy sword generates magical light at 40 feet, so I don't know if that counters it Ooh, or magical yeah. or it's done, or doesn't matter if I... I maybe think if I remember the darkness spell correctly, I think magical light is the only thing that can pierce it. So um, all, you, all, all of you now see is a big ball of darkness with this flaming sword <laughs> <laughs> as this, this being that, like, is wielding it, but it's really uncomfortable doing uh. it. It's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, anything else? Uh, no, I believe my job here is done. Okay. <laughs> um, Aserak is slightly annoyed by this, and so is going to use one of his legendary actions. Um, he is actually going, he's not even going to leave the sphere, but all of a sudden from the side of the room, you hear a as what kind of looks like another sphere of darkness appears oh. and mm. moves. And there is a very large sphere of annihilation coming towards some what? of you. Uh, All right, so, yeah. This is a three hour slot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a boss battle you may not be supposed to win. <laughs> uh, I don't know. How long I will be playing next? <laughs> we'll Just see. pop in. Um, Steptoe, it is coming straight for you. Of um, course it is. Yeah. <laughs> I need you. Oh, Sphere Annihilation. What do you do? It's not fine. nothing good. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's it's it, like a warm bath. It annihilates is what it does. <laughs> it does. Okay, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Why do you keep asking for those? <laughs> you or everyone? Uh, just him. Ah. I'm about to be annihilated. I don't like that number. I got an eight. Is that good enough to resist annihilation? Uh, it's not good enough to resist the sphere, but... <laughs> oh, no. uh, where is it? Well, uh, I was planning to heal you all. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. All right, so you Famous take 20 force damage. You actually oh. don't take quite as much. 20 force damage yeah. is a little less. A little uh, less than we were, we were hoping for. I'm still over my hit point maximum. <laughs> All right. So and just so you know. As that appears and kind of vibrates in the air box, it is your turn. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. I, I kind of really want to kill this baby god still because it's okay. just like really one track idea. mind, just like. Kill baby god. You do see it over on the side. And, and, and laying on the ground, obviously hurt from your battle from before. It is 
<laughs> right. These horrible noises. So I, I see all this, this darkness and stuff, and I'm like, cool. And then I just go for the baby, just stroll up with my big, vicious, great axe, and I'm all just right. like, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Go for it. <laughs> and I, it's a very, very tiny voice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Very> <laughs> You're such tiny. a big cat. Yeah, very um, okay, so. So brave to attack a baby. I like it. It's, it has oh, to die. Don't this, this is just, Clearly. Oh, wait. Bonus before that. Rage. I'm uh, in a well, rage. Obvious. Yeah, so obvious. The baby. Just yeah. die. Don't yeah. give up all my Worst baby ever. Ooh, a 19. And then. So. And plus stuff? Plus, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, plus stuff. Easily hits. Okay, cool. And then damage, D12, and then Okay, plus four, 14, and yeah. Uh, so that is 14 slashing damage. Sure. To the baby. To the baby. Is there a property of your sword? If you, vicious sword, does that do anything else? If it's a crit, it's 2d6 oh, extra. Just so it's like, I just missed it by one. You just okay. missed it by one. But yeah. you did do some damage. Yeah, I did, I did some damage. And and so now I'm going to do that again. Sure. Because it's still not dead. No. Okay, nine plus where is it? Okay, it was seventeen? Yeah, awesome. absolutely. This thing is huge. And you do remember from your fight before with it, it doesn't have any armor. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm so and glad then you're that's putting that image eight. up there because it's terrible. <laughs> oh, 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 that's what you're fighting. Oh yeah. it's like, I'm ew, sorry. it's like like this actually, because it doesn't want its hair to get all messed up. Oh. So that's, uh, it's all for the kids, guys. Remember. Yeah, it's all for the kids. It's, <laughs> it's eight, eight damage. Eight damage. Yeah. yeah, it is. It is still clinging to whatever unlife it seems to be clinging to, but it is. It is very, very hurt. Anything just else? Like, I'm just gonna be like, die! And that's it. <laughs> Step toe. Well, you would you hear think. your cat friend. Ah, I don't hear anything. I went over 65 points of damage. So oh, no. um, I was at, I have 63 hit points. So, um, but. You're unconscious? Oh, yeah. Oh, what? But. We did not know. That is not the limit of the things I can do. I know. Because I have a permanent guardian of faith, uh, a dog uh, whose, whose name is Basil Lucian, but for this moment will also be called Tinkerbell. <laughs> uh, 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 and uh, it does. Uh, not only does it light up that blow away that darkness, um, it uh, does twenty points of radiant damage to both the baby and a Sarah. Uh, a Sarah. A Sarah. Uh, so at minimum that will happen. I don't know if there's anything I can do to respond to uh, taking all that damage myself. So uh, you're currently under zero hit points. I am currently under zero hit points before uh, I ever took a turn. That. Then your That's response safe. is, I need you to make a death saving throw. I will do that. And someone that needs to I'm, heal you. It would be a really good idea you. if someone did. Uh, I have a 19. Ooh, oh, yes. yeah. You're okay. You're stable. I think uh, this might be a good time for a donation, just say. <laughs> <laughs> hey, some, some kind of way to get uh, uh, step toe back also, in the game. Also, I'm also the best at destroying undead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. All the things that I might have done the 54 points of blade death. He's blade the barrier. cleric. I He's might the have cleric done. that went just down All those first. things it's could like, be useful. It's like this guy is smart. It's like he oh. figured out who to hit with a sphere yeah. of annihilation. <laughs> Hands off. It is your turn. Uh, uh, so what do I see? You see this horrible lich floating before all of you. You see the hurt baby god and the thing that you've been coming after to destroy that's been sucking up all these souls right there. You see your friends battling. You see your cleric dying. Nice. Yeah, How far right. away is uh, uh, Sarah Rack from me? How far would you like him to be? Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I can go 50 feet, so I can go really fast. Sure. Uh, so I'm still like kind of dodging out of the way of the uh, uh, lightning bolt that went by me. Um, and you think he's about to, he tips a little bit so far, you think he's almost about to fall. And then he like <laughs> sprints uh, right towards the Sarah Rack, uh, falls down, rolls, and then uh, uh, tries to attack him. All right. Uh, so I get two. Crazy attack, so I'll just do them at the same time. Oh, those are both eights. Uh, does a 16 hit? Sadly, no. So he runs forward, trips, <laughs> falls, uh, takes out the piece of driftwood, and then poof, falls to the side, and then tries to punch, and also, and so he's prone uh, right in front of a Sarah Rack trying to punch at his feet. And he's like, I got him, guys, I got him. No, this no, is no. all gonna work. <laughs> Sarah, I hate you. A Sarah Rack. Pickles. A Sarah Rack doesn't <laughs> have feet. Yeah, you're starting to realize. <laughs> yeah. Slitch, no not, feet. Not a feet. Not a feet guy. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to do? Uh, I wiggle around like a fish. All right. You're very successful at that. <laughs> Actually, give me an acrobatics check. 
Oh, that's much higher. <laughs> uh, uh, that is a uh, 21. You're so good at doing that salmon <laughs> thing that you actually accidentally come back onto your feet. Oh, oh. excellent. So, yep. and he's now in front of a Sarah Yeah, <laughs> thinking that you're a fish. Um, Lunk, we're Kay. back at the top. Lunk has thought about this very carefully. He's going to scream loudly yeah. and uh, slash this lich in this stupid lich face. I like how calmly you said that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh man, uh -oh. Oh. double sevens. Crit. All right, so two, <laughs> two 16s and then a crit. All right. Give me the 16s don't hit, but the crit obviously yeah. does. OK, so remind me again how we do the crit damage. I'll roll, roll a double, double twice together. Yeah, whatever you would normally roll. So seven. Uh-oh. I get to roll both as I get, oh. I get to roll. This is actually fine. I don't know if it's good Saturday. for the stream, but it's good for us. We'll figure it out. So 14 plus crit damage. I get to roll both those again. Wow. Uh, six. He's just gonna keep rolling. 14, I remember. And seven is twenty-one. <laughs> plus five is twenty-six. Plus fire damage is thirty-five points of damage. Thirty-five. Yeah. And I hate the lich and I'm screaming in his face. I would love to hear you scream. Mm. It will make them super upset, but I want to hear a scream. Mm. I mean my big mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hate you, lich. There you go. <laughs> uh, that's, that's his screen. Uh, I hate you. Uh, 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 yeah. All right. Darkfire, it's your turn. You're standing there. You see your friend, the cleric, go down. You're watching your dog attack this horrible lich. What would you like to do? I want to heal Steptoe. Yay! Yay! I love those Excellent words. idea. What would you like to do? You may regret that later. Uh, Are you casting a spell? Spell. Awesome. Which spell? Uh, healing. Healing's a good spell for that. Good spell. Uh, Let's see, you're a ranger, and you should have, like... She's probably got, like, healing ability. word. Yeah, you've got a healing word. What's a healing word? I would yeah. say so. That'll be enough. Yeah. Step so, here, here you, you, you know you how much healing word goes. Tell her. So just roll, roll a d8 here. Nope. Uh, the d, uh, roll that no. die. I'm fine. Good yeah, job. You, you reach out and touch your friend, and healing light suffuses his body, and his eyes open up again. He and he says, "What do I say? What would you like to say?" <laughs> oh, okay. Just curious. I was wondering if you were just going to do that. No, nope, I was waiting. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, no, there's uh, still a lich around. We got one of those still. Yes. All right, fine. It's <laughs> a lich. Fine. And it's actually that was a good round one. Acerax <laughs> turn. Oh no. He looms oh, over all of you. Oh, no. <laughs> he says, <laughs> Don't have time to play with you anymore. And he reaches into a pocket and you see him pull out what looks like a deck of cards. Oh. And he no. He's got it all. There's another sphere of annihilation in there. And deck suddenly too. everything goes dark. I've seen this movie before. The spell? No. Uh, now what have you done? And a moment later, you're all standing in the jungle. And it's a gorgeous day in the jungle. You actually recognize exactly where you are. This is the last campsite in the jungle that you guys were enjoying just before you entered this tomb. And you're all standing there with all of your gear. Uh, you guys have even have your Hadrosaurus nearby. Ooh. You rode in on Hadrosauri? Sure. Hadrosauruses? <laughs> um, yeah. Hadropodes. Um, Lunk, you've got a Hadrosaurus named Ringo. Excellent. Um, nice. Darkfire, you have a uh, Hadrosaurus named Lord Richard Attenborough. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, Damelin, you've got a Hadrosaurus named Linnaeus Rex. Obviously. A absolutely. Uh, Fee of Wug, you've got a Hadrosaurus named Pineapple. Yep. <gasps> uh, Vox, you've got a Hadrosaurus named Mustard. Mustard. Steptoe has a Hadrosaurus named Roxanne. <laughs> of course. And of course. hands off, we have a Hadrosaurus named Ale. Ale. Perfect. <laughs> and some of you are still hurt from this battle. Some of you are still reeling from where you were just a moment ago. But you're suddenly in the jungle. Uh, well, that was weird. Do, yeah. do, yeah, I um, have, do I no! have? No, I want to kill. Do I have my full quiver of arrows? <laughs> yeah, you have all your equipment with you. So anybody it's else as if I didn't fire that arrow at, at a Sarak? Actually, do an investigation check. Okay. Do, you have, do we still have one a Sarak somewhere? 
You don't. That was awesome. Oh, I, knew, yeah. I knew it was going to happen oh, at least once this year. Was this all a dream? Uh, that was a 11. Is this the dream? Well, this I mean, is the dream. Right this there. makes more sense. Yeah. You're pretty yes. good at counting your arrows. You think it might be fired, but you're unsure. Okay. Fair I enough. need more ale. Come over here, dinosaur. Come here. You're going to hug your head. Dinosaur. Oh, yeah. Are and you it, real? It hugs you back. You hear it oh, do that weird dinosaur purr thing. I do. I try to pick it up and try to drink it. You pick the up a dinosaur? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, strength check. <laughs> so you pick. Uh, that is quite high. Uh, that is a seventeen. Uh, no, sorry, nineteen. It. You move it a little bit. I mean, this is a riding dinosaur. You <laughs> rode in on these dinosaurs. You move it a little bit. Uh, it, it's it, not working. It's kind of after all of this time that you've been traveling with these dinosaurs. They've all grown used to your quirks. <laughs> it's grown used to your uh, drunken ways. And so How I show affection. Is this is our love language. It doesn't it? understand Don't judge. You, but it, it, <laughs> I might judge. It, it <laughs> judging is happening. Judging, judging is happening. happening. <laughs> I, I, I like pause from my like raging and I'm just like... Can I roll uh, for judgment? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. roll for judgment? I'll let you do it as a free action. Uh, all right, good. Uh, you know, I I'm going to... I'm going to... Uh, I, I, I don't want to interrupt your hadrosaurus love moment, but <laughs> everybody has 18 point hit points back. Ooh, yay. Whoa, thank you. Nice. So do we know, did we get teleported back in, in place, or we teleported back, back in time, time as well? Ooh. Ooh. Did, did Don't we? know. Yes. Uh, Please be time. When did we go into the cave with the... Well, yeah. it was hard to tell when you entered the tomb, because mm -hmm. uh, obviously it was a big underground complex. Oh, we spent a lot of time in there? You spent a lot of time in there. You, you rested several times. Was you it? went through multiple floors. This wasn't an ordeal to get down to that room where the actual soul monger was, the thing that you'd been seeking that has been sucking the souls of anyone who has died. So it's, it's a little disconcerting to suddenly be back in the jungle. Yes, it, I'm Although very the, disconcerted. The lack of giant lich is probably nice. Yeah. Well, does anyone have to speak with animals? Because then we could ask that the dinosaurs how long they've been waiting for us, or if we've even oh. left. Oh, Darkfire can. Yeah. Yeah. I can. Hey, Darkfire. Uh, you <laughs> you wanna, wanna speak with animals as a spell? I'll do that. All right. You cast speak with animals on Lord Richard Attenborough. Yes. Yeah. Lord your Richard. your hadrosaur, which has been normally he just speaks for the animals. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he so patiently meta. is looking at <laughs> you, meta. and what do you ask him? Uh, how long have you been waiting for us? Not, not long. You're, you weren't gone. You were gone. You weren't gone. No. Mm. They're not very smart. They're not very bright. You have not been gone long. Mm. Right. What and did from, he say? from behind you, you all hear a voice. And the voice says, Ah, I see there are more lambs to the slaughter. And you turn around, you see an old lady standing there. Um, weathered face, brightly colored uh, dress and smock. She's idly playing with what looks like a set of cards. And she says, But you are different. All the others that have come here have been Dead, but you're not. How yeah. did you get here? I thought I was dead. We're yeah. not dead? We're not dead. We're not dead. We, we just got told we're, we're, we're in the process of figuring that out. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, we've answered we're, we are not dead. Okay, so we got one check mark. <laughs> Yay. Uh, not dead. Who is nice lady? I, I don't know. Uh, so, how do dead people come through here? They are just summoned and forced and sucked from their just afterlife. Oh, yeah. No, Everyone we, who is here belongs somewhere else. No, we didn't do that. I, we, we I go up to Lady and go, where is here? Or, here where is here? <laughs> here is this construct of a place. It okay. is a playground. It is a killing field for a would-be god. Okay, you should have killed that baby. But how sure did you, right you get here? I wonder. And she kind of continues to play with her cards. She shuffles them a little bit, and she, then she starts to, on a rock nearby, lay them out. <gasps> oh, no! Oh, good stuff. Wait. 
Yeah. And for each of you, she lays out a card. What? what? This isn't good. Oh, no. Oh, God, Do you need lungs so to attack bad. this lady? Anybody? No. No. Not no. Yet. Okay. no. I think it's bad to attack the divinator. Oh, no. Got it. Yeah, she, she, she just keeps... Wait, they're, all, they're all the same card. Wait, which of those cards are mine? <laughs> <laughs> she gathers up all of the cards and is looking at the, these void cards, which I'll hand Oh, no. So 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 usually a void card doesn't sound like a good thing. No. In oh. fact, uh, usually it just means... These are beautiful cards, though. Here, pick a card. Okay, okay, <laughs> hold on. Uh, uh, it might be a void. Nice. Oh, it's a void. It's a void. I this couldn't like avoid a, it, you guys. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. I, 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 I draw it. I draw it, though. I, I, be careful of the hadrosaurs when they void their bowels. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, this card. That was devoid she of says, humor. She says, let's drop it. What? The lady says, this. Does not answer too many questions, not but so it much, explains no. why you might be here and not be dead. Does it? Uh, the, yeah, uh, does it? Obviously, we know what you're talking about, but for those of us who aren't, <laughs> <laughs> don't know what's going on, maybe you might explain. Everybody roll an, an intelligence check. <laughs> okay, oh, geez, I'm, I'm not that I'm good. I'm not rolling an intelligence check. Yeah. <laughs> I failed the intelligence check. You're all seasoned adventurers with years of experience. I, I got, I'm sure I got worse. 13. 13. Yeah. 13. Yeah. Uh, not even. Uh, yeah. ne negative. <laughs> okay. 10. 10. Negative. 17. 17. 9. 9. Uh, 13. Okay. Oh, uh, you got smart. the 17? I did. That's okay. Very smart cat. You <laughs> vaguely remember a magical item that you guys had, had heard about in your travels called the Deck of Many Things. Indeed, I did. And <laughs> while you've never seen it, because it is one of those items mm. that you know is dangerous and deadly, yeah. I don't want you touch it. do know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are holding a card right one. now. Yeah, it, it might be the void. You do know that there is a power inside of this deck that if if you're lucky, you get wishes and gold and yeah. all kinds of wonderful things. This is things. the thing that always happens. If you're everyone but Grog. <laughs> if, if you're unlucky, right. then your soul is sucked from your body and sent to a space where it is held until someone can come and rescue you. Nope. I just nope. want to wish for more wishes. <laughs> no nope. dibs. Yeah. Nope, this, nope. The, the uh, does anyone else remember the uh, creepy guy Bones? Yeah. 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 Also yeah. had these things. Yeah. These small. It's called a card. Uh, rec <laughs> rectangles of power. Yeah, card. It, rectangle powers. Yeah. No. Anyone <laughs> who has the power to send you here and to create this place must be very powerful. How did how did you get here? I I have like everyone else here passed away <laughs> and been forced here. I am not supposed to be here. I have a destiny of elsewhere to be, but. We have all been forced to be here. Uh-oh. Great. Oh, I have no idea what this note means. <laughs> I Do any of you guys drive a Greyhound a bit? No. 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 Okay. Is it on fire? Is nope. it currently on oh. fire? Uh, it is currently dying oh. because the lights are on. Suddenly a oh. car oh. appears. <laughs> <laughs> no, that'll help. And, uh, Hadrosaurus, you've been great. The old woman puts her hand on the car and says, I will not leave just yet. No. Uh, I go in the car. <laughs> but this is a dangerous place, and you are powerful creatures, and you cannot, you, you must flee because it will come for you. Can't you feel it already coming for you? And everybody roll a perception check. Oh, I feel a sadness. Ooh. <laughs> Hello. Ten. Ten. Fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, like ten. Uh, 10. Yeah. Twenty-one. Twenty-three. Whoa. Nineteen. Uh, Twenty. All of you feel this oh. because none of you rolled a one. No. <laughs> the That's what I spent my twenty-three on. There you go. <laughs> the air gets colder and. You feel the hairs on the back of your neck stand up, and you hear this inhuman. And the old woman says, It comes for you. And you turn and you see floating above the trees the thing you thought you killed, the horrible, disgusting baby monster that had been feeding on the souls from the soul monger there floating above. And you hear the old woman behind you, don't you see it? Don't you feel it? Run! Run! We can all roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> Time to run. That's terrible. That's, that's a 20. Oh, what's that? that? We're going to just do that again. Okay, 20. Oh. <laughs> what do I add? Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. 
whopping seven for hands off. Yeah. Ooh, for hands off. Eight. Eight. <laughs> four? Wow, you are you all freaked super out. Super impressive. Down. 20. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, four? 20. 20. Nice. Steptoe. 19. 19. Darkfire. 23. Nice. Ooh. B. 23. We both credit our initiative rolls. Nice. nice. Uh, the two of you get to basically go first at the same time. What would you guys like to do? Are we running or fighting? Uh, fight. You've been told to fight? Yeah. Or you, you've decided to fight? Mm -hmm. All right. It is about 100 feet away from you, closing. And as you prepare yourself for this fight, it's a lot larger than you remember. Mm. Oh, no. It's monstrously sized. Ugh. And it, like, like a Is it a, a toddler god? It's, it's the <laughs> same oh, horrible creature that you were fighting in the tomb. The thing that was feeding on the souls coming from the, the soul monger. And it was large in there. And now it's like Macy's Day Parade balloon size. Yeah. <laughs> it's oh, massive. Oh, yeah. All, right, All right, so we attack the, the, the handlers. Go for the handlers. Right, yeah. let the balloon yeah. float away. Float away. And, and, the strings. and you, you hear the um, puncture at once. The had your hadrosaur Lord Attenborough, Lord Richard Attenborough, gets really nervous. What would you guys like to do? Uh, it's 100 feet away from you in closing. I'm going to use Tinkerbell. Uh, can the blink dog? Sure. We're going to say that your blink dog can go and yeah. attack it and then come right back. So make an attack with your blink dog. OK. Because why not? Ooh, 14, so I add 7? Mm -hmm. OK, uh, 21. Absolutely. Go ahead and roll one bite, and then it's going to back to you. Six. Six. It bites in, doesn't seem to do a lot of damage, and then immediately comes back to your side. She disappoints me. No. <laughs> she gives you the saddest dog. <laughs> she does it anyways. <laughs> All right, and then uh, Fee, you are on the same initiative. What would you like to do? <laughs> your your hadrosaur is also freaking out at the moment. Okay. Uh... I've got this. You've got this. And I point my wand. Of course. Okay. <laughs> I have a feeling this is going to happen every time. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I have seven charges. <laughs> oh, nice. We'll have to this. get into seven, seven battles. Times. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. It's always a good sign. Okay. A stream of ten. Uh, Ten gems shoots from the wand's tip at the atropel. Okay. Gems appear like diamonds and rubies. Yeah. A stream really of ten gems, each worth one gold piece, shoot from the wand's tip in a line thirty feet long Ooh. and five feet wide. Pretty. You don't get anywhere, Pretty. Don't get anywhere near the good. For, for fun, go ahead and, and roll an attack. Go ahead and roll a d20 and add your, whatever your normal attack modifier would be for something. Oh, do you 10, even? and uh, they do one point of bludgeoning damage each if they even get to the creature, which I don't think they do. Uh, a 10 actually does hit. Oh. Because even though this thing is the Macy's Day per, uh, a balloon, it still has no armor or anything. And so it, these gems do, and they seem to do a little tiny bit of damage. And it's still like, <laughs> coming towards you. Now he's rich. Never, never gets maybe. old. <laughs> now he's rich. You guys yeah. still no, have. Him. Right. Maybe he thinks it was a bribe to get it. That's right. <laughs> Roll Clever idea. I can buy armor. <laughs> Babies like gems. <laughs> Ooh, that did not go well. A four. It doesn't even look down as the gems fall below it. <laughs> you guys still have your move or a bonus action? Is there anything else you'd like to do? Get out of here. Um, sure. We're gonna we're gonna let the hadrosaurs take us where they want to go for a few feet and uh, sure. we're not abandoning the party. We're just uh -huh. looking for the exit. You're you're making a tactical retreat. You climb onto your hadrosaurs, who are more than happy to take off. Um, Damelin, it's your turn. What is the woman doing? Is she has she taken off running? Uh, actually, as you turn around to see what she's doing, she's gone. <sighs> She seems to have told that you to run. Nice. Why'd you kill her? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Uh, Don't look directly at the light. It tastes good, but. <laughs> <laughs> I see them start riding off, and I'm looking at my, my teammates, and I think that what I'm going to do, so it's coming towards us, and it's like uh, like 50, how far away is it now? At this point, it, well, it's still 100 feet. It hasn't. It started to move towards you, but it hasn't had its turn yet, so. 
about 100 feet up in the air over the trees. I think Damlin would uh, draw her short bow and arrow, but uh, not shoot yet at 100 feet. Okay. So probably just wait for it to draw closer before she would fire. Okay. And then are you going to do anything else? Uh, I think. I'm, I'm sort of waiting for the party to, make, to decide how, whether we're staying to fight or run. And uh, if we're going to stay to fight, she doesn't want to be the first one to... to she doesn't want to leave before the fight's going to happen, essentially. All right. Yeah. Step toe. Does the um, god thing look like it was wounded by the tabaxi's attack? Uh, do a perception check. Oh, yeah. I got a you 16. assaulted an innocent baby? It, it looks... Whoa, bro. <laughs> Sorry, I got a 19. Got 19. It. it looks horrible and disgusting and completely unhurt. Uh, yeah. So... Maybe the That's baby a no. had a brother, <laughs> like a big brother. <laughs> or, oh it was always All right, um, <laughs> those twin gods. Uh, like oh, I'm man. going to. I, I anticipate that this will be a retreat, but I don't know that yet. So uh, I'm <laughs> going to try to cover our retreat by casting a blade barrier in front of it. Uh, I will simultaneously fire up my radiant soul to add wings to my back and add radiant damage to my, uh, I've taken the light out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so much radiance. I will, it's going I will, to you. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I will back. also use destructive wrath on the, um, the blade barrier uh, to uh, add, add, ooh, let's call it thunder damage, because I get to choose between thunder, thunder. and lightning damage. Sure. Um, so, uh, and I assume it, uh, it's a weirdly passive spell in some sense, since it it uh, requires the creature to enter the wall's area, so I will center it on it. Sure. Uh, since I assume it will enter the space that it is currently in. Um, so, That's a good assumption. Yeah. Uh, so I don't need a lot of dice. How um, many dice do you need? Bunch more tens Ooh, and eights. Open the chest Trick of got dice. The chest of dice. I yeah. know, right? That thing's cool. Look at all this. Good start, anyway. Like, whoosh, or like, good yeah. 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 two more, two more tens, please. There you go. Thank you. It's gonna be Lunk and then hands off and then box. Oh, why am I rolling? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, why are you maximum damage on lightning and thunder damage. <laughs> uh, hold on, gotta add that up. That's just a point. Sixty, to get dice. <laughs> 60 I do want those back. seventy, seventy-six points of damage. Okay. Oh, baby. Uh, Maybe we should stay and fight you guys. Which Plus the 12 I forgot about. Plus so, the 12. Uh, yeah, um, that's, that's 90 <laughs> points of damage. It screeches and recoils for a moment and then, <sighs> and then continues to push yeah. towards That's you. a good indicator. Yeah. Uh, and then with my move action, I, get, I um, take to the air. Okay. And your hadrosaur is going to follow along behind oh, yeah, you. Is your, are you moving towards it or away from it, as I have to ask? I am simply trying to attract its attention. At oh, well, you got its attention, all right. Uh, Lunk, it's your turn. Lunk yeah, the green one's back. takes yes. a look at what the party's doing. Way, takes a look at the baby. <laughs> what the party's doing, at the baby, bravely jumps off Ringo and goes and gathers all the gems that came out of his wand. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I to see that. Right. Roll a perception check. All right. Uh, that's actually good that's for like 18. 18? Yeah. Yeah, you get nine of the ten gems. Wow. Awesome. Oh, awesome. My yep. gems. They're yours. My nine, gems. Nine, I'll say that's your bonus on. action. Sure. Nine gold pieces up. <laughs> bonus action? Yeah. You get 50%. That was half of your move and <laughs> some right. bonus action. Awesome. I was good with that. Uh, all right, well then, um, Lunk will run screaming at a giant baby. Well, it's kind of it's many. Oh, I can't. It's up there. It's, it's floating above the Macy's Parade. Okay, so it's 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 a, uh, that far off the ground. Macy's Parade. Okay, um, I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll just brace myself for when baby gets here. Okay. Screaming still. Hands off. Uh, I don't have any. Uh, you said it's up in the trees. Are there trees nearby I could climb to get up close to do something to it? You certainly try. Uh, about <laughs> how far up? Um, it's about 50, 60 feet up, because it's, it's like floating over the tree line. Right. So as it floats over, you could, there are plenty of trees nearby, you could definitely try to climb one. 
Uh, all right. Well, uh, since I uh, take a take out my pouch that has kind of been underneath uh, me this whole time and take a huge swig uh, of uh, water and uh, then, uh, find the nearest vine that I can find and just try to go up. Uh, and then you do lots of swinging kind of motions. Uh, he can oddly go very fast, uh, yeah. despite his, the swaying nature. So it looks like he's about to fall about four times, but he uses that momentum to swing himself up farther. Uh, and uh, I think with, with uh, two moves, I can get up to uh, I'll get 100 feet up. Do you have a climb speed? Or I don't have a climb speed. Then I would love an athletics check. <laughs> or, or I'll take for you an, ath- an acrobatics check. I'll do athletics, because I am very strong. Nice. Uh, that is a total of 25. You are a monkey. <laughs> You're up in the trees, swinging Sweet. around like Tarzan. It's nice. Amazing. All right, so those are my two two actions, and I'm going to get ready to sway off the tree onto the baby. All possible. right. Uh, Vox. Oh, man. I wanted the gems, and I'm just, like, <laughs> looking at Lunk like, <laughs> you... Too many shiny <laughs> there, there's, a, there's one more, apparently. <laughs> Do you see it? I don't know. <laughs> Do I? Roll a perception check. I want. <laughs> okay. Uh, blah blah blah. Perception. These are one gold piece. Gems. Nineteen gems. Because he found where the other nine fell, you we see it right there between oh, his legs. Wonder, wonder man. I like, I'm I like Kitty that. dive for it, just right in between his legs. And, okay. and, and I'm it's like, yours. yes, it is mine! And now I'm like, yeah. I, I put it put it in one yeah. of my, my packs, and then I'm like looking up the baby, and I'm just like... <laughs> and, and I want to, I guess, I'll pull out my crossbow, and uh, yeah, I'll shoot it. Why not? Sure. Sure. No stranger to assaulting babies. Wait, can I climb back on mustard Let's, and then remember, sh- it's a baby shoot it from baby mustard? Baby. Sure. <laughs> cool. I climb up on mustard and then uh, shoot at it. Yeah, that's, I think, oh, plus seven. Never mind. 19? 19 hits? Yeah! So I'm like on mustard and I like hit the button or the trigger for the crossbow, button. shoot <laughs> the thing. The key in the code. I do the thing and uh, yeah, one D10. So where is my D10? <laughs> echo from somewhere. Uh, yeah, it's a weird echo coming. Yeah. Okay, so that's five All right. damage. Doesn't seem to do a ton of damage, but does hit it right into it. Yeah, and I'm just like really proud of my little arrow. I'm just like, <laughs> and then I and then I book it away. Okay. <laughs> with the with following them. Good All on right. you, box. Good on you. Get yeah. on the, I think. You get on your head to sort of start to um, tactically retreat. Tactically retreat. It, it is the horrible baby monster's turn. Does anything happen at the beginning of its turn when it's in your yeah, radiant? Yeah. Ta- it's gonna take. Um, at the beginning of its turn, uh, it will take 20 points of damage. Yeah, it'll just take 20 points of damage. That'll only happen once. Okay. It's the radiant barrier, the, the, the blade barrier you're talking about, right? No, Crazy the, radiant. So, well, okay. So th- that's there's two effects, right? The first is the, the radiant from my Guardian of Faith. Right? Okay. Which is 20, 20 radiant damage. Um, but I don't... It's also started its turn on the blade barrier. It has. Which means it should take another, uh, it should take the damage again. Yes. 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 Uh, then you should so be rolling that damage again. I will. I'm trying to think. I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to, I can't, how many, I'm sorry, I forget channel divinity. Do I have to have a full rest before I can use it again? Or is it all? All the time. Um, I believe you have to have a rest, but I know you've got more than one use of it. Got it. At your level. Sounds good. Absolutely. Okay. Sure. Then let's do that again. Um, uh, I need to provide some thunder damage, so I will use divine strike. Okay. um, Thunder. Thunder. All right. It's been thunderstruck. Uh, I will. Um, I will, uh, tun, 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 tun. that makes max damage. Um, this time it's, uh, it's So 90. many numbers. Yeah, it's 88 this time. 
Oh, oh this time it's 88. Yeah. Okay. A little less than last time, sadly. It screams and recoils from this radiant thunder musical damage. Plus, plus the 20 from the thing. Yeah, it and it so you, two actually years. suddenly looks two years, hurt are, yeah. and wary, mm. and it turns and it moves away with surprising speed. Like oh. you remember fighting this thing in the chamber, sure. and it wasn't very fast and it floated, but it wasn't this big, and it it seems to recoil and then float very quickly away. As soon as it starts going away, I'm looking back to where the woman was. Okay. Uh, all you see are tire tracks. <laughs> <laughs> As she got into her Honda. perfect. Honda. And <laughs> like the Jurassic Park vehicle or something. Exactly. She, she put it into reverse and was Looks gone. Looks into the rearview mirror, sees objects in the mirror maybe closer than they appear. <laughs> then it's baby yeah. awful things come behind her. Who's got the address yep. stores? <laughs> yeah. We knew. Um, and as it quickly flees away and kind of disappears over a rise, um, you take a moment and you hear another voice. And this is a, a, a kind of a gruffer voice, and he laughs and he says, huh? Haven't seen anyone scare it away in a while. And you turn and there's a dwarf standing there. He's got a hammer over his shoulder. He's just kind of idly looking at you and he's like, newbies, nice job. It'll be back. It always comes back. Even when it's killed? Ah, oh, you can't kill it here. Oh, well, nobody told us that. Uh, Where's here? Why'd I waste here, all those charges? Here is whatever <laughs> layer of hell we're all stuck in because when we died, we went to the wrong spot. Didn't the old lady come to you and she had the oh, cards yeah. and she said you were dead and uh, you're but, imprisoned but, here? And... But we're not dead. We're not technically dead. Huh? And I'm not in a tree. Dead. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you're not dead. No, no, no. no. And you're in a... Well, I've seen Stranger Things. <laughs> season two. I mean, like, yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen season two. I died before I could see it. Really, like, if we I'm can so get sorry. out of here, a true tragedy. Yeah. Sure. You guys see a uh, uh, someone fall from the tree <laughs> and lands right <laughs> right in front of the dwarf. Uh, 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 are you Saladan? No, I'm Gellerin. Oh, Gellerin Fellhammer. I've been oh. here a little while. What, what about you? Who are you? When'd you get here? Nice job, by the way. That's really impressive. Lunk, Lunk wants to go and hug the dwarf. <laughs> and he it. he freezes for a second. He's like, ah. Yeah. And he kind of gives you that awkward pat. He, like, he doesn't let go of the hammer on his shoulder. He's like, all right, yeah, I know. This is creepy for all of us, sure. Ah. Lunk, Lunk's good friend was a dwarf. And there was a great story about dwarf. He's dead now. In the story. Wow. Hopefully he's not here with <laughs> us. Man. Terrible story. Yeah. Lug is it. the charmingest uh, yeah. fellow. I like it. Really Works very smart. Story. I take my Hadrostorus mustard back and, and just sit on attack. him he's still. Attack. I don't want to get down. Yeah, I like I, I like being up here and just like... Nice dino. I mean, I guess Thank he is you. dead. <laughs> yeah, he's not going to be undead. Do you know... What? Don't you know about the things yeah. of the wings and the not wings with I, the pointy tails? I almost got that. Is that what's happening here? <laughs> sure, why not? Uh, <laughs> Wait, do I get wings too? That, that, that'd no, be helpful. A, Next time I gotta fight that thing off or the, run from it. These are natural. I come back to Earth. Um, this happens all the time? Well, I come here. I mean, oh. that thing is I trying to eat our souls, right? So it just finds people and it kills them. It likes to torture them first. It's kind of evil. How Are we actually in Chult? Well, I've been told that this place looks like that, but yeah. I'm, I'm from the mountains. This place is just hot and full of bugs, but that's what a lot of people here call it. How'd you get here? I died. <laughs> How'd you Somewhere die? else? Uh, yeah, I was fighting a whole bunch of storm giants and one of them fell on me. <laughs> oh yeah, that'll happen. I used to yeah, lie. I used happen. to give people like this whole story. Like I've, I've done all kinds of awesome things. Don't get me wrong. Sure, but, I wouldn't. Eh, it fell on me. Squished. <laughs> yeah. I was supposed to go and do awesome things for my god in one of the god realms, but apparently everybody's coming here now. It's some kind of death curse. Right. It sure. It sucks. Mm -hmm. But if if you're not dead. Not technically, no. Huh. Uh, so when Aserak pulled out his cards and we teleported here, did he? Do we think he took like our souls and? Uh, well, I should well, be able to hold on a second. Wand of Wonderman has an idea. Yeah. Uh, 
Is this Chult or are we in like the upside down Chult? <laughs> um, are you asking Gelrin or are you no, trying to? No, I guess to... I'm asking the party. Ask um, Gelrin. He wait, knows. I should, if there's wait, one purgatory. thing I should know. Yeah. It's whether I have a soul. Okay. I'm an Asimar. Yeah. You... Do I have a soul? Oh, heck yeah. All right, so we're not dead. No. He didn't, good take, away. Soul. He didn't take away our souls. It is solid gold. <laughs> Your soul. I almost got that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> still trying to track. But I'm getting better. <laughs> you still have a soul, but he did something to us. Maybe he did just teleport us, or or, or we, or he has some hold over us even here. You've been here for four drinking times. Uh, at least, yeah. <laughs> so hey, pass that bottle. I was like, isn't that just an afternoon for you, though? <laughs> That's right. So not long. <laughs> yeah. Do you We're know good. where that monster being resides normally? Well, I got this friend who thinks that she might know where it goes. She's been trying to get a whole bunch of us together to go there. She thinks that she can like break us out somehow, mm. but so, I don't know. Is your friend named Valindra? No. Good. No, <laughs> my, my friend's name is Calamity Jane. She's a big dragon. Oh, I Ooh. like her. <laughs> she she can dragon. throw it back. We would love to meet your friend because before we came here, we nearly killed that thing, and I would very much like the opportunity to do so again. He's exaggerating. No, the, he's... I <laughs> almost killed the thing. The crazy baby thing that wants to eat our souls? You almost killed that thing? Yeah, yes. yeah get away. Uh, mm, that's interesting. That's cool. We should definitely get you involved in our little resistance. <laughs> I say we launch the resistance now. I have damage resistance. Damage resistance is good, especially against that thing. Mm. It'll only last for so long, though. Like, can you only talk to it with, um, like, animal powers, or? Talk to? Yeah, the, yeah, what, the baby guy? The baby? Right, that's no, a good the, point. Uh, dragon. Oh, cool. Oh, oh no, dragon. dragon speaks all sorts of languages. She's pretty smart. Where's this dragon? But well, that's a thing. She flies all over the place. I, I, I think I might know where she might be going to next, and we can, we can get there pretty quickly, because, you know, you could just get everywhere pretty quickly. But, you know, we might have to do some searching for her. You, got to turn you can just get everywhere pretty quickly? I like Yeah, I mean, get... this place doesn't really exist once you, once you know that this is like this <laughs> weird thing in the baby god's mind that's just created just because it likes to be evil and torment us. Once you kind of got that figured uh, out, you can just go places. That would have been interesting information previously. <laughs> <laughs> and you uh, know, we could have just as, zapped it. As Gelrin is talking to you, he goes, you know, like this. And he side eyes about 40 feet away and his form just goes, Foop, disappears. And there's this weird blur in the air, yeah. kind of like steam, but it's super fast. And all of a sudden he's 40 feet away. <gasps> he's like, and, like, Still feels weird. I want to do it. I do. I like. Ooh, and I and I try and I like try to go to him, but like with my mind and also like <laughs> steam, and I'm just like oh. steam, because he's like steamy. Oh, okay. yeah. So I'm just steamy. like, and I try to I try to do the thing. I tell you what. Why don't we? You guys look a little hurt. Why don't we rest for a little bit? Oh. And I'll, I'll teach you how to do that. All right. Oh, okay. okay. So I just I'm just sitting on that dinosaur. It's just like. I think we're in space jam. <gasps> Are you? It's not. <laughs> More have. Metamusel. Oh, okay. There you go. All right, as you guys all kind of gather up, and, and, and Gellerin is going to let you guys take a, a little bit of a short rest. Cool. We'll take a short rest, and we will take a bathroom break, pretty much. And we'll be right back, hopefully, in a couple of minutes to find out what happens next to our intrepid adventures. More we'll coffee. Ooh, yes. <laughs> you should. Uh, <laughs> Stay tuned. All right. I don't know who to...
welcome back. We've had our little bit of a break, and I think we're ready, right? We're ready. Yeah. Nice. My body's ready. Yeah. We're no have... worse off than we were before. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have had a little bit of a rest. I would say a short okay. rest. Short rest. Okay. For, short for rest. For those of you that it might matter. Before yes. I went down to, to rest, uh, you see uh, uh, Hands Off uh, takes a small hat and puts it on his head. It looks very disheveled and looks dirty, uh, and he curls up into a ball and immediately falls asleep. Okay. For the short rest. Sure. You look adorable. It, it's like uh, uh, browns and greens. Looks basically as if he used it to wipe his butt and or his nose uh, several times. <laughs> mm. But he's like, this is my lucky hat. And he puts it on and, and sleeps for the duration of the short rest. Does it have, like, spells that come with it? Yes. And smells. Yes. Spells and smells. Yeah, either one. It's maybe they're, maybe they're combined. <laughs> all right. At, at the end of your short rest, Gelrin will say, so, all right, I mean, is there anything else you wanted to do? And I'll, I'll show you how to zip around this place. It's kind of fun, actually. So, um, you, we don't know exactly where he went, where the god went? Uh, probably somewhere in this land, in this and crazy thing that is containing us all. It, it flies around trying to eat people, and most of the time you have to try to run from it. And if it gets bored of following you, it goes find someone else that's easier to catch. I've never mm -hmm. seen anyone fight it off before. That was kind of cool. So it's distance is relative here? Distance is interesting. <laughs> Great. We're all, we're all used to distances and stuff, and so we're all kind of used to the way things work. But if you think really hard, and if you try really hard, or if you're crazy, Ah, I, can, I think know, we got that. Definitely that. Then you know that this place isn't really real. It's just mm. all in some crazy god's mind. And that's that's why I can do the, the thing. All right. Speaking of, I would like to learn that thing. Excellent. Yes. Well, there's a couple, couple different ways of doing it. So either you have to be so sure that you know that this place isn't real, that you, you can just fly through it, or you have to be so smart that you can tell that it's not real, or you just have to force yourself. To force myself to do anything. Yeah. All right. So, all of you kind of pick a spot in the middle distance, and you have a choice. Different spots. Oh. <laughs> one spot. <laughs> no. No. If you like, like, exactly one spot. Right. And you have a choice. You can make an intelligence check, a wisdom check, or a constitution check. Ah. Yeah. Uh, you have my attention. <laughs> yeah. I will make yeah. a strength yeah. check. All right. Let's go, let's go down the line. So I need. Uh, the strength check is going to be a constitution check. I mean, yeah. you can. Well, you can say it's that. Sure. I think it makes sense to me. I got a whopping uh, eight. Yeah, you. Yeah, he takes a big drink. Dang it. You're like concentrating really hard, and you're clenching really hard, and nothing seems to happen. And Gelrin. <laughs> I was going to say it, but Kennedy needs to do it. I got it first. <laughs> what did you do? It looks like you're constipated. I, I got an eight on my constipation check. Yeah, your constipation check was super high. Your constitution check, not so much. Um, what'd you get? What'd we got a 22. What? 22, and which one did you pick? Constitution. Constitution. You do the same thing. You just will your body to, and you're there. And then I puke a little bit in my mouth. It's a weird feeling. Yeah, I don't it's like a it. super, you've down, teleported before, and this like leaves your guts in a knot for a moment. Yeah, mm -hmm. no. Yeah. Okay. What would you like to do? Well, Con well <laughs> Constitution. Is. Constitution? Yeah. Um, you, Arrive, a oh, little nauseous, but you're there. I did yeah. it. Fifteen. Yes. Constitution. Con everyone's constitution. Yeah, you once Which again part? fly through space and time and did just suddenly point? appear. Oh. And you got like a momentary, like an ice cream headache, but you're fine. <laughs> Those are the worst. Yeah, but it goes away. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be wise. Okay. Uh, I shall make a. I make a. 16 on my wisdom check. Sure. You I want to understand. You watch as a bunch of your friends. Yeah, that's not good. That's not a good look. It's not a good look. It's not, no, the constipation look, no. never good. No. <laughs> I'm just going to think this one out. But you, you really are, you're very good at perceiving exactly kind of the, the moment that they disappear and the weird kind of shift that oh. happens through the air. And you start to understand about how this place kind of works. And you're there. Yeah. You just 
up here somewhere else. Um, I like that. 22 and wisdom. Wisdom. See, she that's crit. how you do it. You crit. That's how you do it. Wow. All right. Um, not only do you fly through space and time and appear exactly where you want to appear, there are no ill effects. And um, how, how would you like face. to appear? Do you appear with a flourish? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Always Appears in, in like in a ta-da! <laughs> and finally? All right, I will use Jazz intelligence. Ooh, an intelligence check. Mm, 13. Mm. The Matrix is real. <laughs> know this for sure. <laughs> and it hurts, but you arrive. All right. Would you like to, you've seen all of your friends do this now. I clearly yeah. need to have some more coffee. Yeah, <laughs> give it another try. or And you can try any of the checks. Oh, I am going to go with uh, Wisdom. Let's see this one. Sure. Aha! 20 total. Absolutely. Now that you've kind of watched everybody else do it, and now that you don't feel so constipated, you would get it. Uh, I just needed to clear the void, if you know what I mean, with this yeah. void card. <laughs> and now all of a sudden, oh, that's all you got to do? That's all you got to do. All right, I'll drink more of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of fun. The the little bit of a queasiness, ice cream headache thing goes away after a second or two. You get, you, you get used to it. The further you think about going, in a weird way, the easier it is. So, hey, sure. how familiar are you guys with this area? Zero. Like this land. It's false. Uh, we, we traveled right. through this area no, yesterday. This, are we sure this is the same area we traveled through? It, it's at least presented in that same way. Right. So therefore, if this place isn't real and we believe it's this way, uh, we should how, be able to travel through it. How familiar are deep. we with this? deep. Well, you guys would be super familiar with Chult because right. you spent a very long time searching to right. find the tomb to blah, 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 blah. So yeah, you would all be very familiar with Chult. So he says, Wait, I got an idea. Yeah? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I'm gonna think about something really hard. Okay. Can I make another check? Sure, we're okay. good to go. He wants to see if it works. I wanna see if it works first. All right, All right. Uh, that's a 17. Yeah? I wanna think that I am floating in the air 300 <laughs> feet up in the air. No, you are 300 feet up in the air. You immediately start to fall. <laughs> I'm thinking that I'm not falling. No, it really isn't Space Jam. No, you'd start to fall. Uh, I, I look around. I'm like, uh, I'm trying to, and I use, I, I try to use my acrobatics to try to get a bird's eye view of the 360 view of what's happening. You're That's out super. in the jungle somewhere. You think you see Port Nine Zaru, maybe miles and miles away. You think you see, like, you know, as you're you glancing get him or about. I? This is the chart, at least the landscape. About it. <laughs> All right, nice. Don't, yeah, yeah, and really I'm just, I'm just trying those. to turn right, fine, I got it. as much as I can, and maybe thinking about yeah. trying to grab something Can't if I get into the tree line. Oh yeah, you're about to hit the trees. All right. If you, if you were smart, I. Go get him. Yeah. Do you still have your wings? Yes. All right. Um, I'm trying to observe acrobatic. as much as possible. You make an acrobatics check. You make a strength check. I'll do that. Ooh. I'm just, we're down at the uh, bottom. Like, yeah. I got got a, I got a six. Oh. Wait, I've got my hammer, so I've got a, I've got a ten. Okay. Um, he is not terribly heavy, but it's... Yeah, I'm 7'11". You could uh, lose some... 250 pounds. Yeah, I'm a oh, furball. Yeah, no, I forgot your furball. I'm a big okay. shambling... Oh. Yeah, actually, he's super heavy. He's super heavy. You catch him. No, I got some... I, I... But he lands in a weird... Like, he was trying to do this acrobatic, like, <laughs> land in your arm. <laughs> and he kind of lands sideways, and you've got him in this weird, like, fireman's carry, and he clips your wing a little bit, and so for a moment, you're like... Stop ah! it! <laughs> Stop um, it! And I'd love for you um, go ahead and make a wisdom check. <laughs> this didn't work as well as I'd like. <laughs> Damn it, stars. Uh, I got a wisdom check, I got a 15. In that moment of catching him falling through space, hitting the trees, you and then land on the ground, appearing like okay. you've learned how to do. You monks always land on their feet. And now you've landed on I his feet. Landed on my feet. Exactly. <laughs> I was gonna be fine. I can roll with it. But thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I drink that. to your uh, soul. That <laughs> is, <laughs> to your what? It's your soul. <laughs> oh, okay. It is okay. golden. Gilmore joins it. <laughs> to your soul. <laughs> <laughs> to your soul. All right. So Port Nine Zaru is that way. Uh, what about was that fifty one? feet. Port Nine Zaru. What? Where what? we came from. We're going in to the, the city? jungle. Right, no, I know no, exactly where we are. Let's go the dragon. Let's go. Let's where's the dra yeah, where's the dragon? Is he near? I just I don't want to hope I hope I have like a bird's eye kind of like map of the terrain of what's going Oh, yeah, there. and you remember uh, from traveling okay. through. You guys are very familiar with Chult. And he says, 
Uh, last time I knew where she was, she was over in this place with a bunch of bird people called Kirisabal. You guys know where that is? And you all definitely know where this well, place is. I saw it. It's that Birdies. one. Birdies. Yeah. There's a bunch of bird people there. There's not a lot of bird Don't people there. The but yeah. The, uh-huh. Last time she was there, she was trying to hang out with the bird people, which was really weird. This giant dragon, tiny little bird. Anyway, we'll go over there. And he wings out. Of existence. He's like, gone, okay. He's just gone. Uh, so we gotta think of that place. I, I, have, I wanna try something first, though. Sure. I wanna cast, since distance is relative here, Yeah. I wanna cast Locate Creature to make sure that the dragon is actually there. Sure. Do you just oh, cast sorry. it? Sure, it's normally got a distance of a thousand feet, but I figure that's relative. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's interesting. All right. Um, so you cast it. And at first, nothing pings. Sure. Thousand I'm feet. thinking really hard. Yeah. Um, go ahead and roll a wisdom check. Uh, I got a 12. Oh, it, yeah, okay, I got a 12. You think about it really, really hard. No, you can't really sense anything outside of your thousand feet, but you think you might be on the right track. Like... You, you, you don't think you failed completely. You think, like, she might be very far away and you just didn't expand your your consciousness enough. Mm. Oh, In you gotta expand your consciousness. Yeah. Also, are there any mic in around? It just occurred to me that there probably is running water between at least 10 feet wide yeah. between me and there, wherever there is. There's a lot of water. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of running water. Running thing. water, falling leaf, yeah. a lot of things. How far was the range? 1,000 feet. Okay. The normal range. The normal range. Yeah. Right, so I proved that I can't do the thing I want to do. I will follow the dwarven uh, gentleman, uh, Galwin. Galwin. Galrin? Galrin. Yeah, to cure Sabal? Yeah. yeah, let's sure. do it. Go ahead and make a check. roll your... Yeah. I think about it. 23 for me. Uh, you wink out of existence. 23. Wink out of existence. 13. Uh, you wink out of existence, oh. but oh, it's Again, you're constantly. There's not our, our dinos. So you roll that number two us? again. You'll find out. Oh, you, you, your, your gut's oh, twist in a weird way, but you, you disappear. Uh, two from your oh. wisdom. 18. What about you, Log? 18? Oh. 18, yeah. You, gone. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, ooh. Um, that didn't work. Uh, an eight. Uh, you're still kind of concentrating on expanding your... Where'd everybody go? Okay. And, and, <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it's, that's a little distracting. Add a little. 23. Yep, gone. How's the uh, seven? A seven? Oh, that's going to smart in a moment. But no, yeah. you're, it's, it's just you and your cleric friend kind of looking at each other, both of you with a, a weird ice cream headache going on. Help. Perfect. All right. You're, you're smart. You're wise. Yeah. Ish. Let's try this again. Um, what we should do? We should call on the aid of Sylvanus, the great god of, <laughs> of, of lightning and storms. What did you just say? The great god Sylvanus, the great god of lightning and storms. Say it with me. <laughs> what does Lunk know? Lunk knows two things for sure. There's two things. Lunk loves dwarves. Good. And Sylvanus is the worst. The worst. Sylvanus is the worst. Who do you think put us here right now in this situation? Sylvanus. Who do you think makes a my hot sort of hot? Sylvanus. A dinosaur. <laughs> Sylvanus is the worst, uh, the worst god ever. Uh huh. Suddenly, Gelrin appears. He's like chewing on a piece of pizza, <laughs> yeah. and he's like, "Guys, come on! They got pizza. What's going on? What's taking you so long?" And he poof, winks out of existence again. Right. Okay. Um, fair, fair. No, it's a, you know, the well, world world can have some differences in it. Um, I'm not going to win an intellectual argument with you. I'm just telling you. So no, is, that's true. Sylvanus so is, is a menace <laughs> needs to be vanquished. I see. Okay, sure. Got it. Um, so checking for later. Uh, well. Yeah, named Tink, too. <laughs> used to until Sylvanus killed it. <laughs> I see. Oh. Well. Well, I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> <laughs> During this awkward moment. Yeah. Well, I'm going to use that as... Um, I'm inspired to get away from you. <laughs> That's a 16 on my constitution. I would love to give you disadvantage on this chair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's a 12. That's a 12. 
to 12. Yeah. It hurts for a moment, but you just barely Thank gone. Goodness. What a mic drop moment. He's like, I hate your oh, God. God. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. That's one way to end religious debates. Yeah. <laughs> I'm using that a bit. Yeah. For the moment, step toe, you're alone. It's just the sounds. Of yeah, that's actually jungles. and seven hadrosaurs. Actually, <laughs> just yours. Just mine? Okay, yeah. just checking. Yeah. Yeah. Just checking. All the other hadrosaurs are. I was about to ride a hadrosaur army. You put a little uh, relish on that joke. I like it. The DM will remember those puns for later. Oh, no. Put the stank on it. Yeah. All right, I'm getting out of here. Uh, I get a 23. I'm tired of tired of waiting for these people. You enjoy a moment of We're peace on you. and quiet, and then you're gone. And you all appear on the cliffside of Kir Sabal, a, a wonderful place that you have visited before, full of Aarakocra, the bird people. Bird people? Yeah. And there seems to be a pizza party going on. Pizza, the bird pizza. people party. There's a whole bunch of Aarakocra. There's a whole bunch of those little tiny uh, frog people, grung. And they're all just chewing on pizza. And you see... Um, you see Gelrin come up to you and he says, well, unfortunately, she was here, but yeah. she left a little while ago. Could have um, told you that. Uh, my friends, my friends here, the, the other Aarakocra, and he mm. uh, motions over one of them and uh, he says, this is only a, she said that your, your dragon, my dragon friend, your dragon friend was just, <laughs> just here. And this beautiful Aarakocra with gorgeous multicolored wings walks up and says, mm, yes, she was here. She was looking for help. She was looking for people to come with her to where this all began, is what she said. But mm. I don't know if we want to engage directly with the demon. And Gelrin says, no, nah, baby god, evil baby god. It sounds better. Well, whatever. Why don't but we want to engage directly? Nothing we do seems to hurt it. We would like a try. We, we did. We do. And Gelrin points at all of you and says, no, they were super good. They have, like they heard it and it ran away. I climbed a tree at it. <laughs> you it's climbed true. a tree? And I was gonna do it, but then it ran away. <laughs> well, that's still impressive for right. one of your size. Huh? By the way, you are one of the nicest dead bird people I've ever met. Yeah. So, to you. To me. Dead and she eats her piece of pizza. Dead bird people. <laughs> she says, well, we're, we're just here until we get chased away again. You're welcome to join us. You're welcome to join us in our pizza party extravaganza, attacking yes. this and breaking the cycle. Well, so, so <laughs> go ahead and roll a persuasion cycle. check. Go ahead and roll a persuasion check. Oh man, that's my uh, not forte. Oh, that's a 13 on the die. Uh, yeah, the 14 total. Okay. She mulls over your words for a moment and says, well, we have never seen someone who can cause this thing damage. Oh, oh, These people of things uh -huh. are able, you can claw at it, you can have religious talks with it. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what you can do, but your blink dog is gonna eat its butt out. I know, he's too disappointing. Mm. Oh. <laughs> you would you something really cool though? We really That's, yes, exactly. There you go, yeah. Make some more, make some more gents come in here one. <laughs> Only, only in times of need. Oh. Yeah. Wands of Wonder Man. I don't know what comes out of the wand. Yeah, Wonder Man out, is gonna. I pull out the gem and I was like, like this gem. Yeah. Very pretty. I'm also like toothily just grinning at the bird <laughs> and just like watching it, just every, any movement. You know that normally this air cooker would be super worried about you. <laughs> Seems unfazed. Kind of dead. It's as if it's got bigger problems. It's kind of dead already. <laughs> so the dragon just, just took like, off. To us, where it all us began. winged people have to stay together, yeah. right? Yeah. Go for the dragon. Uh, well, we don't know where the dragon is. If you were to guess where the dragon went, or do you know where the dragon went, can, can you direct us to the dragon? I don't know. All she said was she was going back to where where this all began. And, and where is that? Gelrin kind of strokes his beard and says, "Well, uh, that would be the." Place where this this whole crazy area was constructed, right? That'd be where this this place really is in the real world, mm. right? Do you know where that is? Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been there, but we can go. Sounds nice. They got good pizza there. Oh, we got pretty good pizza there. And I'd like all of you to roll perception checks. What? What? Perception checks. Uh, Eleven. No. 
Perception. Yeah, and add goal, two. Just to get all the gems. So oh, yeah, when, when more. I get you got a uh, matching set. I got all right, so we got 11. 11. 7. 7. Uh, 14. 14. Natural 20 roll to 26. Ooh, or increase what? to 26. 16 for me. 13. You've got so many crits on right. non-dramatic <laughs> moments. <laughs> I know, right? The two of you, you're, you're paying attention to the conversation, but you're drawn by a different noise, kind of like do 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 Like a running Ale. dinosaur, perhaps? Yeah, like totally something nice. is running towards you. And on this cliff face yeah. that you guys are hanging out with these Aarakocra and Grung eating pizza, the, you see in the distance something that you never would have expected, this giant gorilla. Gorilla. Coming towards you. And then another one. And then you see flapping wings as this swooping manticore comes up behind it. And Elnia says, The heralds of the of the baby monster comes! We must flee! And you see as the Grung and the Aarakocra, they form up into a rank super fast. The Grung jump on the Aarakocra and phew, they take off. And the rest of you can roll initiative. Yes! <laughs> the herald the army oh, is a I bunch of gorillas with a manticore. Okay. This roll doesn't need to be. And you're gonna add three. Uh, I got a twenty-two this time. Oh, this is a Planet on. of the Apes wannabe remake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking like Wizard of Oz, Flying Monkey, because they're right. That too. Yeah. 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 All right. Hands off. Do twenty-two. Animal friendship. Lunk. Spell. Thirteen. Ooh, Fox. Thirteen. Damelin. Fourteen. Steptoe. Fifteen. Darkfire. Eight. Fee. 19. Nice. Um, hands off. You are going first as these things come charging towards you. You <laughs> see two humongous apes and a manticore with air support. I am support. going to uh, run up to the ape, uh, uh, trying to go waver back and forth in different directions, trying to c confuse it. Okay. Uh, falling down, flipping, uh, doing a uh, round off that looks perfect, and putting his hands up in the air, and then uh, with his staff, and then <laughs> trying to hit it right as it comes within range. Sure. If anyone kills this thing, I will kill you. Which who? <laughs> he says right oh, as he's about gosh. to attack, and he holds. <laughs> oh, no. The the oh gosh, I got uh, two attacks. One is a crit. Uh, <laughs> okay. One is an eighteen on the die, so that's a twenty-six. Yep. All right. I think I might be killing this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Uh, so I'll do the crit first. Uh, that is 10 points of damage. Okay. And then uh, the regular attack is uh, 9 points of damage. Okay. So hitting with the, my, my driftwood stick uh, several times, and I say, Great Perkins socks! <laughs> you smack into this giant ape, and it takes those hits, and it looks hurt, but it is still <laughs> at you. Mm. <laughs> well, this should go on for a while. <laughs> <laughs> and for a while, they just at each other. Okay. Um, it is the manticore's turn. I sense. The manticore flying above is going to. That's the hadrosaurus. I want the manticore. There we go. It's going to whip out its tail spikes at you. Uh, 15? Uh, that is a hit. Okay. Uh, but, 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 is there, but, is, uh, no, I can't do that. Hold on, I'm just thinking of all the things I can do. Um, that's it. No, no, it hits. Okay. Yeah, go for it. And the second tail spike is a 14. Uh, that is also a hit. But. Nope, no <laughs> buts. And the final tail spike is a 17. Oh, that's uh, nice. that is another hit. That, yeah, so three hits, two, nine. You take 17 piercing damage as three tail spikes just land All into right. you and cool. it screeches. Oh wait, it's a missile, right? Uh, those, do those count as missiles? It sure. is a ranged weapon. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was looking for. The thing that lets me... Oh, are you going to try to grab them? Yeah, exactly. Right. Sure. Please, so, please do this. Yeah, so we use your reaction to deflect or catch the missile when you are hit by a ranged weapon attack. When you do so, you take... Uh, the damage you take is reduced by 1d10. Uh, and if you reduce it to zero, you catch it. Yeah, that's right. So, well, that's not very high. Two, two plus my dex mod, uh, which is two. So that's two plus my monk level, which is twelve. Uh, so that is a sixteen. Yeah, you catch one of those. <laughs> yep. 
So you now hold one of the manticore tail throw spikes. It. And I'm going to spend a key point to throw it back at it. <laughs> I love it. No one's ever yeah. thrown a manticore spike at a manticore. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to say that is a... It's a it's dex. A plus, yeah, it'd be plus whatever your. Just my dex, right? And, my, uh, and dex plus proficiency? Plus proficiency. All right, so that is 14. Weapon. Does a 14 hit the, the mana core? 14 just hits. Nice. Nailed this thing with its own. With its own <laughs> spike uh, for one damage. <laughs> just so you show, you show that. I guess, manicore. right? Plus your uh, plus probably dex your bonus? dexterity. Yeah. yeah, all right, so that's a uh, three total. Sure. Nice. It was it's not expecting. It's so the irony, really. That the really spikes really come down on him and he catches one. And then the other go <laughs> right in his thumb. Yeah, but the one that you send back at it, like, totally is not thinking, I'm going to get my own spikes in my face. And it gets its own spike in its face. And you yeah. take out one of its eyes, and it's oh. in the air. That's what you get. Yeah. Um, you got to figure a manticore hits itself fee, with its own of spikes log. a lot. Are they within? <laughs> it's it's, it's barely up. alive, but it is it is super upset. Oh. Fee, it is your turn. Are they within uh, 120 I'm ready. Feet? Absolutely. Keep. All right, I've got this. Get those get All right, guns out. <laughs> Go. I'm, re I'm required to use this wand. <laughs> <laughs> That's this is amazing. A great wand. I roll a 29. I point my wand and cast Stinking Cloud. Oh, it's useful. Okay. Oh. Um, where would you gems. like to center it? Uh, not on me. Uh, on the That'd be smart. Manticore. Try and drive it away. Stinking Cloud. Okay. Now I gotta look up Stinking Cloud. Because it makes a it makes some kind of save or else it's Disgusted. Someone have stinking cloud on there? It is a wand of confuse uh, the DM. Yeah. <laughs> wand of oh geez, thank <laughs> thankfully I have Constitution D &D saving beyond. throw against poison. Yeah, Constitution yeah. Against on a failed save, the creature spends its action that turn retching and reeling. All right. Uh, so it should that, be a DC 15. Well, it did roll a natural 20. No! Oh. So it's, it's... It stinks worse than your cloud Reeling does. from <laughs> its own spike in its eye, but its wings bat away the stinking cloud before it can be affected. It is a concentration spell. I don't know how that's affected by the wand. Sure, you can concentrate on it. Why not? <laughs> there, done. Don't yell at me, internet. Anything else you'd like to do? Uh, no. All right, step toe. It's your turn. How many gorilla people are there? There are two giant apes and one manticore. All of them, at the moment, are focused on hands-off. Ah. We could just let them focus on them. That sounds great. I like call them gorilla uh, people. Sure. Please. That sounds good. It's, uh, a it's a giant ape. <laughs> so you can like dodge out of the way of stuff, right? He's very inclusive. That's great. He yeah. is very great. dodgy. You're good at dodging out of the way of things, right? Uh, I yes. Great. Uh, so let's try. Armor class not that high. It's not going to be so bad. Uh, let's do a destructive wave. Um, so sure, uh, I will throw my hammer of thunderbolts. At, are they roughly near each other? Yeah, what? they kind of came as a, yeah. a trio. All right, I'll I'll aim at the manticore. Um, sure. And uh, so sure. Um, I roll a twenty-four to hit. Absolutely. Uh, I do to the manticore. Oops, the wrong wrong die. Me six. Um, I do nine points of damage with the um, hammer. Okay. I'll throw a divine strike on top of that to make it thunder damage, which is important because then it all gets to be maximized. So um, that would be 21 <whistles> points of damage plus a thunder clap. Everybody there makes a constitution DC 17 save or is stunned. Okay, so the two giant apes and... They might be thunderstruck. They might actually be ah. thunderstruck. <laughs> 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 it's a con, con save? It is that, I'm uh, sorry. I wish it was a dex. <laughs> One of the giant apes rolls a natural 20. Oh, stupid ape. Uh, the other just rolls a 7. He's a damn dirty ape. Damn, yeah. damn dirty ape. Yeah. Um, the manticore doesn't have to roll because it is dead. Oh, that's nice. Spike in its eye, hit uh, by this I, damage. I am sure I carefully timed that throw to make it fall on one of the apes. Uh, the one that failed, absolutely. Okay, good. How about you? Uh, I got a 12. That's his DC. Uh, yeah, the DC is 17. Yeah. 
All right. So, so I take all the damage. No, no, no. You just get stunned. Oh, okay, that's fine. Oh, all right. So one of these are stunned. Yeah. Okay. In, in your state, though, that might be average. I'm very stunned right <laughs> yeah. now. So it may not actually affect you. <laughs> nice. All right. Anything else? Uh, um... How much damage do the two I think do? I think when I catch the hammer, when I catch the hammer, I think I'm going to go Less 20. 12. Is there a I'm going to go with 20 total, okay. right? Are we on a are we you said we were on a cliff? You're kind of it, it's a cliff face, but the and you've been here before, the Aracocra have dug into the side of this cliff, cliff face and have their homes and all of these uh, walkways. So it's a little treacherous for, say, throwing people off the side of a cliff, but at Excellent. the moment you have plenty of room to fight. Excellent. I will find a promontory and stand there Lion King style, ready to bring the sky down. I With need a baby? performance check. It? <laughs> you can do that. Come here, Ashfall. Uh, I get an eight on my performance check. You find the perfect spot, but you're huffing a little bit by the time you get there, <laughs> and so it's just it's a tough day. <laughs> yeah. All right, Damlin. Uh, I'm gonna charge in on the uh, the non-stunned ape. Sure. And I will use uh, the uh, samurai ability to give myself advantage on my attacks for this round. Set the flail spinning. Uh, that is a 21 to hit Absolutely. on the first one. Second one is a 14 to hit. That also hits. Excellent. And they the are giant one, and once again not armored. <laughs> 19 to hit. That hits as well. Yeah, this thing is, its friend it's, is stunned, but you s basically stun it with the amount of damage you suddenly do. <laughs> Anything else? The breath stinks. <laughs> oh, that ought to do it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. What's on my gun? Lunk. <laughs> so, Lunk. It's Lunk. Pulls out from behind a giant greatsword, and it views itself with, you know, hellish fire and, and, and everything, and raises over his head, sees the giant apes approaching, falls to the ground, to his knees, starts puking, <laughs> and then curls up in a fetal position and <laughs> sobs in abject terror okay. at the sight that are giant apes. Oh, yes. Make a hidden. constitution saving throw. That is going to be a thir uh, no, that's going to be a... Uh, no. 2017. Okay. One of our streamers is evil. Yeah, One of our yeah. Streamers yeah. Is evil. do that. Yeah. There's, there's a moment where you almost teleport away. Oh. You are so afraid. I'm, but I'm so brave still. But you manage to at least just puke in the fetal position. Courage. Yeah. Consider yeah. pure courage. Gain the strength of Sylvanas. You'll, you'll survive. <laughs> okay, wait. You oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> apes are animals. Animals are nature. Yeah. Sylvanas made these apes. Yeah. This is all Sylvanas' fault. Fix wow. it. Channel that anger. Fix it. Channel the anger. I can't have puking. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> out of your mouth. Channel the anger out of your mouth. That's what I do. Making more sense now, at least. Puke yes, onto now. the enemy. End of turn. Yes. Fox, it is your turn. Yes. Okay. I want to go up to the ape uh, that everyone else, or the one that's not stunned. The one that's not stunned. Or is stunned because of all that damage. And the one that take, out, right, yeah. take out my great axe and I'm like, my prey. Wait, <clears throat> my prey! <Yeah. laughs> it's always best when you correct yourself. <laughs> it is the best. It is the best. I, I Every time. It in character. Every like time. the first time. Wait, wait, wait. Time. Yeah. Time. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. <laughs> my prey! <laughs> I love it. And then attack. One. My prey! And then <laughs> take it out. Trip. Swing down, miss. And fall. And they go, mistakes have been made. <laughs> Make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, no. That eight. It, yeah, you are okay. just dexterous enough that you don't land in lungs pluke. Oh, you roll, darn. <laughs> <laughs> my hair, my yeah, that, 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 You roll. It'll be weeks of licking like your bed. Yeah. <laughs> just enough. Yeah. So All right. You are learning the ways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is how to truly not be a target. This is how this is going. To act as if you don't know anything. You are right, wise so beyond your. That's all I can really do. 
Cat years. Oh, uh, you do get a second attack. I do get a second attack. Great. So then I get up and I'm just like, <laughs> that didn't happen. No. <laughs> and I go, die! And sleep. <laughs> All right. Ooh, okay. Uh, 20. 20, yes. A lot. 20, a lot. 20, okay. yes. So now. Still a number. I'm forced at rolling. Still a number. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to rage. Oh, that's fine. Uh, five damage. All right. It takes a little bit of damage Dumb. on its knee. Ah, so close. If only I didn't mess up. <laughs> <laughs> you'll you'll get it all next time. You it wasn't your here. Heart. It was your next dice. Time. Yeah. You Dark fire. On your feet. Uh, you have cats. I would like to uh, do animal friendship. On uh, can I do both of them? Ah. Uh, hmm. Let's see how well you roll. Okay. Oh, it's a, they have a, it's a wisdom DC 14 spell. Okay. Then let's see how well I roll. Oh. I'll roll for both of them. Wisdom. Ooh, the one that is stunned rolled a natural 20. Of course. Well, it's not going to get friendship if it's not thinking. <laughs> That's true. Uh, the other one rolled a nine. Oh, you got a friend. So, so you make friends with it and we'll kill it. Tell me exactly what animal friendship does. I... Uh, it makes friends with animals. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> fight back. All right. The one that they've been slashing at, some more successfully than others, <laughs> and then it looks at you, and then it stands up on its hind legs, and it's just like... <laughs> just, like last, just waves like, at you. This like lasts for weeks. <laughs> the animal friendship or the waving? Yeah, it's well, just like you, you got a you got a friendly great ape that that Lunk can hang around for oh, weeks. Oh no no no! <laughs> this should be great. Bring no, it along. No, this no. giant ape seems to be it's totally be charmed by you. Please don't great. please don't behead the ape that's sitting waving oh, yeah. at us. <laughs> well, so um, is there anything else you'd like to do? Uh, yes. I, I can I do a healing word with it. With the ape? With yeah. the ape. The ape would love that. You come walking up to the ape, and uh, how much healing would you like to give the ape? I love this. I've never uh, been healed before as a DM. Well, you're great. <laughs> <laughs> First time for everything. I know, right? Well, it's truly a friend. Yeah. Roll a, roll a D8. Oh, uh, D4, 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 I think, shit. for healing word. Right? Yeah. Oh, my oh healing word. Right. Sorry, oh, healing word. Right. Oh. Yeah. Okay. This is the best. <laughs> Two. Yeah, you, you come walking on up oh, in wait, between. Oh. I don't know. We don't have it written down, but uh, probably a couple more on top. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The, it's uh, probably yeah. like a seven or an eight yeah, at the level that she is. Yep. Oh, uh, four. Excellent. We're ballparking. That's fine. The, um, your friends who are, they're all glaring at each other, and then this ape kind of stands up and starts waving, and you walk up and gently put a hand on its, on its big chest and just like heal it a little bit, and it goes, Oh, it is the ape's turn. I would also ask the same of the ape not to behead us. Now yeah. that we've healed it. Well, that's that's up to Darkfire. Yeah. It's friends with Darkfire. Darkfire, what the would you like gonna... this ape to do? Um, kill the other ape. Yeah. No, the other no, ape. no. Um, let's go. Let's go with some apes. It's just leave get... us alone. Retreat. <clears throat> and it gives you this sad. <laughs> oh. And it turns around and swings off into the distance. I could have made it my pet. You're good. It's your friend, though. That's even better. Yeah. Is that the Somewhere song? out in the jungles of uh, imaginary chult, there yeah. is an ape who is your best friend. The other one is stunned. <laughs> Do I have to make a saving anything for the stun, or does it just go away after this turn? Um, stunned stun just lasts for one round, right? For one round? All right. Well, that's the ends of the ape's turn. Uh, hands off. You watch as one of these apes gives gives Darkfire a sad goodbye and walks away. The uh, sad music of um, uh, Bruce Banner from the Hulk. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Investigative reporter on his tail. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I, I'm stunned, but I will take a knee uh, and uh, just uh, think about apes. Did you t <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I enjoy apes. I love it. I want them to be friends with all peoples. Well, the one that's leaving is definitely friends with all of you. Fee, it is your turn. Oh. We're uh, back to you. Boy. 
Uh, the wand isn't working, and I'm not going to run out of charge. The wand isn't working. Good. Well, it's <laughs> no, working. Great. Nothing good for us. It's working great. <laughs> That's true. Your definition uh, of working. Oh, can I? I'm hoping that was a donation. Can I continue? It was. <laughs> <laughs> can I continue to concentrate on the stinking cloud and you try can. and drive away the manicure with it? Well, oh, the manicure's dead. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well done. Yeah. Um, good drive away. That's what I get for paying attention. Uh, I'll try and concentrate on the ape with the stinking cloud. Maybe All right. drive it away. Sure. With the, and with the constitution? Saving throw? Uh, do, 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 do. I believe I'm in that same vicinity, so I probably have to make a con save as well. Yeah, oh, yeah. so the two of you. That's probably why I missed the first one. There's no other explanation. Yeah. No yeah. cat's going to jump in or reserve that. For it. I just have a DC 15. Exactly. 15. Oh, wait, I, I, think it's, I think it's a constitution. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, I get to reroll. Good. Uh, the ape rolled a 19. No. So the it's ape is going to a ape. resist. <laughs> 13 for me. I got a 9. All right. So stinking cloud. Um, let me look this up because the ape is fine, but I think the two of you fail that, don't yeah. don't you? Okay. Stinging uh, cloud. Here we go. Each creature is completely within the we cloud. On a failed save, the creature spends its action that turn yeah. so, retching and so, reeling. Yeah. Creatures One, that don't need to breathe. Blah so blah blah. blah. Party doing yeah, we've got ones. four party members who haven't retched, and you're one of them. I'm yeah. just <laughs> <laughs> which is shocking. Shocking. Yeah. Yeah. shocking. Yeah. You're still practice. like frozen though, in <laughs> like yeah. 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 But I mean, still, what are the you're odds? Doing the hairball. And you're doing the hairball. Oh, oh. 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 The hair oh. everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> we, all, we can all do it. It's, we, a, we are all, yeah. it's a good very impression. Familiar. It's very a good impression. It's a very standby meme. Fee, you Ooh. watch as you bring down your stinking cloud, this green mist surrounding your friends and your enemies. Ape seems fine. Your friends, ooh, wow. You're, you're going to need to wash out some mouths oh, later. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. so angry. I already have gum. Yeah. <laughs> Does anybody have gum? Can someone conjure like, gum? Gum is all you need. Just sniff it all the way. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure I can reverse this if I cast another effect from my wand. <laughs> yeah, no. 100%. Yeah, that just yeah like that's definitely totally totally work. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to do? Uh, no, I think I've done enough. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have. Steptoe, oh, it is your turn. Yeah, um, I, think, I think we've turned this particular tide. So... Uh, um, I assume this works on, it's, it says it, it doesn't really say who it affects. Okay. So I can choose, oh, I can choose any number of creatures. All right, fine. I'm going to cast Beacon of Hope. All right, nice. We're all inspired. We, we, our saving throws go up. Our, we all will regain the maximum number of hit points. We all feel really good, Yay. including the ape. Aww. Yeah. So why really? don't you, yeah, Aww. go home. Yeah. It's been a great day. <laughs> Roll a persuasion check. <laughs> Uh, 21. Whoa. Uh, affected. Oh, oh, sorry. No, no, no. Sorry. You said persuasion. Sorry. 25. <laughs> you should have to act it out because that ape doesn't. Oh, I'm it. sorry. Yeah. What do you, what do you actually say as you beacon of hope everybody? I say everybody should feel good, including you, ape. <laughs> I don't speak Very ape. Right? I don't think anybody's going to get any value about me going, ooh, ooh, ah, ah, at it. <laughs> oh, no, 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 that's where you're wrong. Yeah, actually, <laughs> actually, Lauren <laughs> might get a lot of it. Well, fine. <laughs> the ooh, ooh, <laughs> ah, ah. No, now the, get, fur, the fur bogs kind of can have, you know, we've got the speech of beast and leaf. We can kind of help communicate with the ape. I was, if I wasn't stunned no, you're, by you're what back. he did you're previously. Back. You're oh, back. Okay, good. At the end of your round, you're back. All right, you That's what he says cast this beacon of hope. Uh, one of its companions has already become friends with all of you Absolutely. and run away. Um, it watched as you essentially stopped the people who were attacking it from attacking right. it. Yeah. And it, it ponders your kindness. Along. Yeah. <laughs> and it nods at you and runs away. Okay. Do you want Lunk to chase down this ape and kill it? No. Because oh, I'll do it. Let's go. No. I'll kill you. Go right ahead. Oh. I, 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 I'll turn my no. friend against I'm you. taking that as a no. As no. A, a solid no. I, I, I love the show of, uh, show of uh, valor against the apes now. That's there you impressive. go. As these two apes, now your friends, run off back into the forest. See how um, Sylvanas can be. We acknowledge you could have, but uh, there, there. <laughs> do you release the stinking cloud? 
Uh, <laughs> How much can you yeah. concentrate? <laughs> nah, no, yeah, <laughs> yes, I, yes. That's our friend now, too. You drive my D20 That's back. with us for the rest of the adventure. <laughs> Super. That's like right there. Yeah, I, I was bad. I Got rolled it. it all the way in the middle of nowhere. All right, no, so anyway, as you... Cloud is off. It's there for the next minute. Oh, you all eventually crawl out of the stinking cloud. The Aarakocra and the Grung come swooping back down, and... Were they just hovering right by, just waiting for it yeah, all to... The they had started to fly away, and because we barely got through a round and a half, yeah, like essentially seconds. they got like <laughs> a round away. Saw that you done. <laughs> this is easy. Sure. We made friends. We killed a manticore. So they come swooping on back. Elnia comes walking up to you and says, this is impressive. I, I will definitely let everybody know when you are ready to, to attack. We will be behind you. We're ready to attack. Yeah. Still ready. We gotta well, find a dragon. Point direction. That's we, need, uh, we need to go find where to go. Agreed. Yeah, that's true. Uh, can we can we make like an insight check when she says where it all started? Would we have any idea where that would be in this version of Schultz? Sure. Roll in, roll a um, sure. roll an intelligence check. Uh, yeah. Not insight. Not insight. Uh, because you're not Ooh. inciting her because so she doesn't 12. seem to know. Okay. You're just kind of thinking well, about. Oh, I get a seven. Good old seven. That's amazing. Seventeen. Oh, you're well, smart. Why do, why no, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. So by now you are. Really well. You're having a moment of inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> and what it's did you get? Time. <laughs> oh, uh, thirteen. And twenty-two. Oh wow. Okay. The okay. three of you think about it for a second, and you realize, well, this place was prob is probably the creation of the soul monger. That's where all the souls are coming to. So that's where it all began, was with the soul monger, right? So we got to go back. Back to, back to the back reality. To the, to the back to oh, reality. Oh, we have to go back. Back to the future, yes. <laughs> all the places. Do we think that means exactly where we started this... Scenario with the with the Sarak and the back into exactly the where we back were into the away. temple. You, you think that's that's where at least this world's version of the Soulmonger would be. Okay, and so it's worth a try. All right. I quickly look behind me, and in my mind's eye, I see this large uh, uh, man with curly hair, looking very frazzled, uh, with like a uh, Hawaiian shirt on. And he says, "We've got to go back to the jungle," and I'm like, "Yeah, what he said." We have to listen to Hurley. He knows. <laughs> Everybody kind of looks at nothing. <laughs> you are weird, <laughs> but you're powerful. We'll, we'll still follow you. All right, so where, where are we going? To the Soulmonger. We're going. We're going to the we have to. To the Tomb of Annihilation? Yeah. I think about the Tomb of Annihilation. I don't really think very much about the Tomb of Annihilation. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I got annihilated there. You guys explain <laughs> to everybody right, about the tomb, because there, there's not a lot of people who've been in that. And the Aarakocra are like, mm, and yeah, Delrin doesn't know anything. Uh, I think starting out with the, the whole annihilation part may not be the wisest. So the tomb of, uh, it's more of a colloquialism, uh, really. Yeah. It doesn't it's, translate well. No. <laughs> It's, it's just sort of. A, I mean, there's where the dead gods are. Yeah. You know, nine of them. Nine of them. Yeah. So they got annihilated. Nine. But that's why they got the nickname. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. There's a lot of annihilation. So there's no, no, no dead gods anymore. Well, so, there maybe. Oh. I don't know. We didn't see them. Did we see them? Yeah. On the way down. Yeah. Um, uh, you're not sure. No. Yeah. We gotta right. It's weird. I saw 14 of them, not nine. It feels oh, like wow. you've been in this weird land forever, and those memories are fuzzy. Mm. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Mm. All right. If well, if that's where you want to go, we're, we'll follow you. We'll go find we'll go find our friend, and we'll we'll see what we can do. I don't know how we'll get out of here, but if anyone can, you guys can, because you're not really dead. And Calamity Jane might already be there, in advance. We can only hope, right? Or otherwise, we'll just keep how looking she for her. Fit in the tomb. But... She can just poof. poof, poof. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right. I, I, wrote, I, I got a twenty on my teleport check. Gone. Ooh. Everybody, give me give me some teleport checks. Oh, right. nice! I got it. Oh I got a ah, seriously, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what? I'm not gonna use this one. Well, I don't. Oh. I don't trust it. It's Should been it's seventeen been for me. Twenty. Oh. Oh. I'm probably gonna throw up like my Okay. Okay. And it's also my eighteen. <laughs> Poof, gone. Poof. Oh, I uh, fourteen. Poof. Poof. Uh, twelve. You're gonna be a little queasy when you arrive, but poof. I think gone. I haven't poop retched yet in this party, so yeah. it's my time. It's a little. You don't retch when you arrive, but you do arrive. It's so like, do, we, are, do we arrive outside, or are we back in the room we were when we were teleported? Where well, it all began. Where are you thinking of going? 
I was thinking of the room, but I was I realized we didn't communicate that before that, we started teleporting. Uh, that's what I was assuming. Yeah, yeah. I was in the room. We gotta go to the soulmonger. We're inside the soulmonger. That's oh, no. not what I thought. <laughs> Where did you think we were going? Uh, we're gonna go outside the tomb of annihilation. Just to right. you know we're not. When you see we're not there. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Let's well, say all episode. of you except for Stepto. Stepto, you. Fine. Where would they go? I'd probably go right back to the tomb of Misericord. I'll probably go there. How about you, that? Give me another roll. <laughs> uh, well, a little confidence shaken, but let's call that a ten. Ten. <laughs> you spend a moment. <laughs> And you're getting better at this. You've had some practice now. Yeah. And well, whoops, I went to the wrong place. You know where you're going. And so you're going to arrive with an ice cream headache, but poof. So you all arrive back in the room that has the 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 actual soul monger, or yeah. what you remember as, step toe about 10 seconds behind you. Hey, guys, I think we should really talk about this soul. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a soul monger or a soul monger? Uh, it's a or soul, a soul monger? Yeah, it's actually... It's going to be a soul wuzzer. Ah! That was weak. That's all I got. There. But it's I get what you're going. Yeah. Thinking about what you're putting down. What you see. You put there down the void card. Is the same room that you remember, but it it seems to be empty. There's no weird baby god. There's no awful lich. It's just this weird giant arcane mechanical object that you had identified as the soul monger. Let's break it. That yeah. was the thing you were trying to break, and curled around it laying on the ground is a gigantic ancient bronze dragon. Okay. Uh. And it raises its head to you and looks over at Gelrin and says, well, hello. Have you come to help? And Gelrin says, I have found some fun people. These guys, they can actually hurt that We're weird fun. baby god thing. And uh -oh. she says, Interest. Oh, it's that lady dragon. Too. It's a lady dragon. It's calamity. It's calamity. But, but it's the lady we saw before. I'm sorry, I'm changing the dragon name. My name is Cal uh, voice. My name is Calamity <laughs> Jane. I'm I'm a really old dragon. Uh, yeah, blue, I would love blue-haired bronze dragon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you have any cookies or baked goods we can have? Uh, well, oh, absolutely. You should Hard see candy. the stuff that I can make. Watch have you seen my doily collection? Oh, it's, it's amazing. Gorgeous. Yeah, exactly. Oh, he, there's nothing on his. It, it's just oh, he's, right. he's holding up his thing. <laughs> yeah, just, uh, yeah. hmm, that's a little weird. No, that's, <laughs> That's nice. I I think I know how I can contact some friends of mine and get them to come in the real world and destroy this thing. And once it's destroyed, we can break out. But every time I try to do it, that awful godling creature shows up. So if you can keep it off of me long enough, I can contact my friends. This Bro your bronze friends? I have many friends. Of many different shiny things? Yeah. yeah. yeah shiny things? We, we are quite right capable there. of keeping it busy while you contact your Maybe friends. even gem dragons? Well, 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 we'll see. I will contact as many as I can. The longer you can hold this off, the more yes. people I can tell. All right. So the dragon has no, no, no percentage of her hoard with her at this time. <laughs> There is no treasure. No. There She's is no trapped here without her horde. She, she, she is, is shiny. Elsewhere. She is shiny. Yeah. You're Fruit using that. very big words, Lunk. <laughs> well, uh, my horde. I know the word horde. I know the word shiny. <laughs> and I've learned the word dragon. You do know that uh, gold does not have a soul. Uh, gold right. does not have well, a soul. That's, that's yeah. probably the deepest thing I've ever that's said in my life. Long. <laughs> So the dragon stands up and stretches her wings and her bulk fills this room. And she uh, sits kind of like a dog facing the image of this soul monger mm. and says, you let me know when you are ready. 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 Oh, ready. that was very fast. <laughs> uh, I mean, a couple of healing spells <laughs> later, sure. We were, we were... If you would, she will wait if you sure. want to take a moment. We were born undead ready. Are we, is anybody well, you're undead, badly this is hurt? Get very no. Uncomfortable very no. Quickly. We're all good? Not yet. I'll Give me time. The, I okay. I mean, I'm, I'm about to. The dragon around. will just sit and wait. All right, fine. Patiently. I'm a half or so. Yeah. So there's a bard to like entertain us while we're waiting. <laughs> Wise dragon, I believe we are ready. <laughs> you want to okay. see a card trick? I will you get the void. <laughs> you get the void. Guess no, it's, guess my card. Guess my card, you guys. You <laughs> I 
will need to concentrate fully on contacting, breaking the seal and contacting my friends. Would soon. you like a sip of this first before you concentrate? Mm, maybe later. Oh, mm. celebratory, I see. Wait, this oh. means you can kill the dragon I'll celebrate your death. Concentrating. She sits and you see her eyes glow a little bit as she stares into the soul monger. And for about 30 to 45 seconds, it's just quiet. And then you hear douche, <laughs> douche, 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 douche. And the the room that you, the doors that you had originally in the real world come through to enter this room, shake, and dust falls down. And then the whole wall disintegrates. As once again, your hated enemy, the decrepit baby god, the Atrophon. Oh. Wait, hold on, stop. We're surprised by this for some reason? <laughs> <laughs> not quite this was the plan. Yeah. This was the plan. This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do, right? This thing right here. Kind of was the plan. Yeah. And thus... Does my gorilla get to like join in this fight? <laughs> it's going to be the last thing that happens. It's going to so. swing into the room. Can we turn the gorilla against its, like, its master? Go ahead what? and... No. Go ahead and roll a... Would you like the gorilla to be there? Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Your gorilla is there. You now have a dog right. and a gorilla. I don't know about the gorilla. There you go. Yeah. Oh, wait. I don't know about the gorilla. Hey, yeah, good. We got a nice giant ape here. Yeah. It's <laughs> a really nice giant ape. A big giant ape. <laughs> it's good to have one. Well, you can figure uh, out how you're uh, feeling about that yeah, oh. as we all roll initiative. <gasps> initiative. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I didn't no. roll a one. Oh, my, my, my first roll yeah. and my last yeah. roll. Oh, I wonder how that looks on there. All right. It wasn't one. Yeah. Hands off. Uh, Three. Lunk. 15. <laughs> Fox. Uh, 20. Damelin. 13. Show off. Steptoe. 15. Darkfire. 22. B. 17. 17. All right. Uh, Darkfire, you turn to your ape, turn to your blink dog and go, we got this. What would you like to do? That's you good line. to go first. Um, I'm, can I have both of them attack? Sure. Uh, I want both of them to attack. All right. Uh, go ahead and roll an attack for your blink dog. Okay. We'll do that one first. Two. Oh. Plus seven. Oh, uh, nine. Um, on the wow. crazy uh, undead baby thing, uh, I think that actually hits. What? 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 <laughs> Once again, you seem to remember when you fought this thing it's originally. It had all sorts of other problems. It's kind of easy to hit. Yeah, that hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Oh, uh, you're gonna roll. Oh, I don't know. Nine. Nine, nice. Um, and then go ahead and attack with the giant ape and just use the same stats as the dog. Okay. Except it'll be giant ape damage. Eight, uh, plus what? Uh, seven. seven. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that yeah. hits. Yeah, that hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Use the same damage as the, the we'll just make life easy. Yep. <laughs> uh, six. Six? Eight. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. Was that plus seven? Oh, that was to hit. Uh, oh, plus five. Uh, so yeah. no, you're exactly right. Excellent. You send your animal companions out. The dog attacks. Rah, the, the gorilla attacks. Rah, <laughs> and the two of them are just going at this thing. It's like, rah, rah, and it looks very unhappy. Anything else? Um, no. All right, box. Ooh, yes, finally. I'm like, so my prey. <laughs> Again, I'm sorry, what? Like, my prey. <laughs> 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 I didn't hear you. One more time. My prey! There you go. That's, that's, I heard you that more time. and more Wicked Witch of the West, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> the laughing is making it harder. Okay. Uh, rage. So my eyes turn the red, and is it flowing? Is it just on the ground or just walked in, right? It's like five feet off the ground. Cool. Yeah. I s cat sprint up, like when they all of a sudden are calm and then they bullet across the room, yeah. is what I do, with my vicious great axe, and I just slash away. Sure. And I hope I slash away. All right, um, 19. Absolutely. Awesome. And now, ooh, four, and seven. Okay, you already did 15. Thing. Wait, no, 18. Wait. 18. I'm raging. You are. Yeah. You I don't want to, yeah. Dig on in and open up a gash. It's not as deep as you would hope, but you do damage. Yeah. So then I, I take it out again and I'm like, more. <clears throat> more. <laughs> 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 Slash again. All right. 
So if you're reckless attacking as you rage, you actually have advantage on your attacks also. <gasps> Sweet. Yeah. Reckless attacking on my rage. Yeah, sure. there we go. Okay, well, that was uh, plus a uh, 23 to hit. Absolutely. Sweet. And then uh, 40, uh, 30, 17. Uh, to hit or damage? Uh, damage. Damage, yeah. yeah. Yeah, now you've got this thing's number and you're just slashing into it hardcore. Anything else? The number is eight. Um, I just, I just, I'm like, blood! <laughs> In the most adorable way possible. Just, <laughs> fee. Fee, of log. Hey, will you roll both of these for me? Oh, I see. Yeah. Moving, <laughs> moving on. Yeah. Greg. Get that one. Greg. Did you oh, use the, the catchphrase yet? Eight you did? and a okay. six. Yeah, I'm uh, eight and a six or six and an eight. Right. eight. Which way would you yeah, do? It doesn't one. matter. I would do eight and a six. Eight and a six. Bigger and more. Oh, yeah, that's going to be worse. Uh, I point my wand and leaves grow from the target. <laughs> from the target? What? Leaves. Okay. Leaves, leaves, leaves. leaves grow. Covered All right. Leaves. Unless it they are picked off, the leaves turn brown and mm -hmm. fall off after 24 hours. Okay. It's um, autumnal. For a moment, this horrible, decrepit baby creature Ugh. covered in leaves. Yeah. It's kind right. of pretty, actually. Is it hiding? <laughs> hiding in the leaves? Is it going to scare us later? Yeah. Jumping out of the leaves? It is now a bush. <laughs> <laughs> You're being attacked by you a know bush. It's like, a, a, like, uh, like a kind of armor. Well, or a, a nice foliage. Too. Yeah. At least we don't have to look at it to It's fall. Exactly. It's like, yeah. right. we're no longer it's afraid red. of it. It's right. yeah. leaf Anything else? That was my plan all along. All I right. Well, they leave it alone. Think of it like any little girl thinking about it. This is all very confusing. I just took eight <laughs> points of damage. So there's a, on a one and a two, Lunk attacks the baby. On a three and a four, Lunk attacks the dragon. On a five and a six, what? Lunk attacks the gorilla. What? 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 Lunk doesn't like dragons dragon. either? Dragon. <laughs> kill you. What is it? Uh, Lunk oh. starts running, screaming at the scary dragon. Oh, man. Of okay. Oh, no. Lunk. Um, the dragon is completely concentrating on something else. You do have advantage on the attack, as it is essentially stunned. Oh, God. Oh, it's concentrating on something. Yeah, it's concentrating on sending a message. Don't so break it's, its concentration. Can anybody stop? Oh, yeah. Would sure. anybody <laughs> like to stop? Uh, oh, yeah, I can stop you. Yeah, way, way to play it straight there. <laughs> That's not going to be the problem. Yeah. Right, never, never mind what just happened. Lunk's going to go for the baby. Okay. Call her heads for mail. You run up to it, ready yeah. to attack the back of the dragon. Everyone turns to you at the same time. <gasps> oh, no, what are you doing? <laughs> a left turn, hard left at the, at the, at the leafy And, at the and leafy then baby. you just kind of yeah, back towards the baby. Right, so I, I made you feel guilty. To be fair, yeah. it was <laughs> difficult to tell what which was the end. I pull out powder. several <laughs> gold pieces and chuck them at the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, or so one to go chasing after. There you go. My lowest roll, I think, was a nine, and so uh, that would be an 18 at the lowest. Oh, yeah. The three attacks. That definitely hits. Okay, so it's three attacks. They all hit the, the, the baby. The baby. It's that gorilla the evil, most. evil baby. <laughs> all right, so that's uh, 11, 19, 20, 21, 22. Oh, 19 plus 8, uh, 27 <laughs> on the first. Did I get nice. Eight? Yeah, 19. Uh, on the second. Yahtzee. <laughs> 16. I know it's ridiculous, right? It's the fun of being a 12th level character. Yeah, he's rolling 24 on the second. Wow. Dude, you add fast. Plus five. Plus five. Yeah. And then <laughs> eight. <laughs> 11, 19. Yeah. yeah, that's why I'm like, no. it's only like five and six. Rolling twos over here. 31 and a third. Wow. Whoa. Yeah. 31 and a third. <laughs> Where's the third come from? You were so embarrassed that you almost went after the dragon, that you channel that energy into the actual I really enemy. To hit, yeah. This thing suddenly looks really hurt. That's good. And it looks shocked at you as you've done all of this damage. Get that a lot. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to do? Uh, scream at the scream at the ape. Yeah. Why? Well, he's got because a whole I thing because about I hate apes. apes. <laughs> it's it's a it deep seated issue. It was your best friend. I hate him. <laughs> he's, he's scared. Like of here's the thing. Animals. Sylvanus is the worst. Apes are the scared. second worst. <laughs> I see. 
than dragons and babies. I like the idea that you're slashing at this baby while you're screaming at the ape. <laughs> right. ah! You're a bad, bad ape. Wait a minute, you, you don't like nature things? Or no, it's, not so, uh, it's covered in leaves. It's covered in leaves now. All That's why he twist. It was you. Yeah. That's you why did it. So you did it. You Point. saved the Great day. Point. Great Great point. Point. Save the day. Yeah. Wand of Wonder Man knows what to do. Oh, it's my turn? Uh, okay, um, sure. Uh, well, we uh, we can't have this around anymore. Uh, I will cast a destructive wave. Um, well, first, it'll take 20 points of radiant damage, because once again, it is shown up in the same room as my guardian. Because um, it just does. It just does. <laughs> sorry, you shouldn't keep coming in here. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Uh, and then it will take 5d6 of... Thunder damage and 5d6 of radiant damage, which I will then. Here's some sixes. Yeah, and there's I will. no save against that? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Okay. It gets, um, sorry, I should be very clear. Uh, it gets a constitution save uh, to take half as much damage. Okay. Um, so, uh, should I roll the damage and then you want to make the save? Is that how you want to do it? I've just made the save because I rolled make a the 17 save. plus its constitution. Sounds great. Uh, so, so, go ahead and roll damage and we'll do you divide care, by two. Do you care? Which is Radiant and which is Thunder? Yes. Okay. Then I will do them separately. Yeah. Okay. Any more sixes? I will, yeah. Um, so I will add, I'm going to add a bunch of Thunder damage. Can we, can we start it? No. Sorry, I was a little it's a, late. I'm not there yet. Yeah, I have 10 dice of Thunderstruck damage. You have been Thunderstruck! All right, so this is halved. Okay. 17. Oh my god. 18, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. You're too fast. What is it? 31, 35. 35, halved that. Fish. Fish is coming towards me. Okay, 35, halved. <laughs> yep. All right. And then the five. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then five dice of radiant screen. damage. Uh, you did one of those, like. Can I do any more radiant happening? damage? I can't do any more radiant damage. Uh, radiant soul was. Had to have a full rest, right? Uh, I don't know, so sure. Yeah, I think you, it did. You, I think it did. You got it back. Okay, oh, I got it back? Sure. Oh, then I have take wings out of my back. Sure, take the short rest. Uh, you got it back. All right, uh, so that is... Um, this is more fun. 20, <laughs> 20, 20 32 radiant damage. Have that. Have, but... H-A-L-V have, that. Have yeah. that. You, so your thunder damage strikes it, and it seems to resist a lot of that, but your radiant damage strikes it. While you don't hit it as square as you'd like, it recoils in abject horror from this radiant damage, and it... And it looks really hurt by it. And I flap my wings at it. <laughs> so it knows. That's the real insult here. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. Good Super job. insulting. <laughs> All right, Damelin. So, yeah. uh... Damelin is uh, sees it uh, again. Summons its her fighting spirit and uh, activates as a free action her ring of jump oh, really? to to leap into the air with the flail spinning and come in for her first attack. I love it. Do it. Uh, that is a seventeen to hit on the first one. Absolutely. Second hit. That is a fourteen. That hit. Third, 23. All of them hit. Okay. Uh, six plus 10, so 16 plus 12 for uh, 29. Is that what I said? It's 28? Sure. 28. Something like that. Yeah, you come down on this thing right on its head and just nail it. And I need you to make an acrobatics check as you've now leapt into the air. And sure. 16. Yeah, you land behind it. Ooh, it farted. <laughs> baby. <laughs> baby fart. Oh, Worst. Baby, yeah. Worst. Out of fear. Baby tears. Yeah. Anything did, else? Did my three attacks kill it, or is it still up? It is still up, right. but it is looking unhappy. Then I'm going to go and ahead and gassy. use my, my, what is it, action surge? Action surge. Action surge to make give one last attack on it. Sure. Nice. Action surge. Uh, natural 20. Oh. Wow. All nice. right. So. Roll, roll me all that beautiful dice footage. <laughs> uh, an additional 16 points say. of damage. All right. Um, you see a whole chunk of its side get just scraped away as you dig into this thing. Black blood oozes out and it screams. Ah! 
It's still barely alive, Sad. though. Oh. Barely um, dead alive. <laughs> barely alive. It's looking around like it's oh, looking to it. flee. Uh, it, it's giving mm -hmm. the same look that you saw mm -hmm. when it first encountered you, as it was like, oh, no, wait, maybe I'll come back later. <laughs> giving that same look, <laughs> except you're in this room. That's why and, we got a samurai behind uh, And it. I'm behind it. Yeah, yeah, and you guys have surrounded it. So it's going to reach out with one of its decrepit yeah. little hand claws. Baby hands, yeah. Baby and I need, uh, Damalyn, since you're the last one to hurt it, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. That's my best one. <laughs> 14. Mm. Not a great roll. Oh, yeah, Plus it nine. reaches yeah. out Jeez. and it pulls some of the, the life force from you. You take 36 yeah. necrotic damage. Yeah. Ooh. And you see some of that gashing, gaping wound that you left on it. Oh, come on. All right. Heal up a little bit. You no. son of a not nice person. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your edit. We'll, go, <laughs> we'll now go to hands off. Ah, uh, so I see that I, you gotta get, break the things in the board, and I go run forward and uh, uh, try to uh, attack it as strongly as possible. Sure. I can't stress to you all enough that this is character is basically dead in real life. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Uh, so I may uh, I get the my driftwood kind of staff and I swing at it for a twenty five. Absolutely. Uh, and a natural one. Well, uh, <laughs> you lose hold of the staff. <laughs> yeah, let's in that order. Go hopefully, ahead and do your damage first. All right. So that's a uh, uh, seven uh, for the one that hit. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna immediately spend a uh, key point to do a flurry of blows right after that. Okay. Uh, so I'm trying to get up to it. Since you and rolled a natural one, I'm going to give you disadvantage on your, your flurry. Ah, so but I the then and then process of it, take a big swing, <gasps> and I am going to use my, another key point to uh, get rid of that advantage with my drunken technique. Fair enough. Uh, oh my gosh, one crit yes. and one is an 18. So that's a uh, 26. All right. Go ahead, uh, roll nice. So <laughs> that is uh, going to be eight. Uh, plus seven. Ooh, nice. Uh, plus twelve. Can you add that for me? Twenty-seven. Kinda. Seven and twelve. Seven and twelve is nineteen, 19 and then eight from the first 27. one. Oh. Twenty-seven points of damage. That's amazing. As I <laughs> fall down, get back up again, <laughs> and then uh, hit it on its head and be like, "You're a bad baby." Hands <laughs> off is a blur as he just falls down, gets back up, hits this thing a bunch of times, falls down, gets back up. All of the life that it sucked from you and healed up, now bleeding and injured again. And it is Still going weepy. to be unhappy. And <laughs> it's going to use one of its legendary actions. Uh, Great Perkins socks! Don't you, oh, no, no, not this Can time. It's going to, as you flip around it, it's going to reach out with one of its baby nope. hands and oh. try to swipe at That's you. Kind of cute little baby He's hand. sticking around. Cute little nope. baby that hand. That was cute, disgusting little 19. Uh, that is a hit. All right. A palpable hit. Uh, you are going to take 20 necrotic damage. Ooh. As you're flipping around and doing backflips and everything, it kind of swipes you off the back. And you're like, Ooh, oh, they're going to get the purple. Bag. Yeah. Dark fire. It's your turn. You notice as you are getting ready to attack again, that the dragon has started to glow. Oh, it's a good dragon. Kill it. No. No. <laughs> no, that's right. No, 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 don't kill it. Don't, don't attack the dragon. Got it, right. <laughs> right, right, right. It's not very good. Uh, I'm going to use my, um, I'm going to use Tink and the ape again. OK. That's because I'm too lazy to do my own dirty work. There you go. <laughs> that's an attitude. Work smarter, or are you not just harder. good at delegating? Yeah. One of the two. True. All right. So for Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons. Hired, hired, hired in the middle of this adventure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, eight plus seven, which uh, oh, uh, my brain doesn't work. 25. 25 definitely hits. Uh, and then, yep, we'll add an add five. 10. 10. Nice. And we'll add nice. an for the eight. This thing's looking oh, really again. scared. Same thing. Uh, another 25. 25. Sweet. Then another five. Oh, a six. So what is that, 11? 11. 11. Yeah. In honor of Stranger Things. Your yeah. animals go at it. The giant ape seems to be going at it with, with a fervor, as it's a, essentially a creation of its own mind in a weird way. And this 
baby monster godling shrieks in horror and starts to melt. Yes. 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 And that... I need everyone to make a constitution saving throw. All right, all right. You got this, you got this. Oh, 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 oh. No. Yes. All right, let's go down the line. That is a total of uh, three. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I doubled that. that. Okay. Six. Oh, uh, 21. 21. 26. 26. 13. Four. Four. Uh, a... 14. Okay. Remember if you roll the under a 10. Oh, yes. This thing melts into a pile, a puddle of goo on the ground. Just a black slick of oil and death. You hear the, uh, everyone that has come with you, the Aarakocra, the Grung, uh, Gelrin start to cheer. The dragon continues to glow and it gets brighter and brighter and brighter. And then there's this flash of light. You're all blind for a second. You feel this gut-wrenching sensation. And then you're back in the same room again. You open your eyes, oh. but there's the dead baby. It's not a pile of goo. It's a dead godling sitting over there. And you see the soul monger, the thing that you would come to destroy. How long ago? Two, three hours ago? You'd come to destroy is cracked and broken and streaming out of it are these ghostly white glowing spirits as they fly up into the air. And you look down and you're all lying on the ground back in what looks like your bodies. You, you feel a little weak. Those of you who rolled under a 10, uh, you immediately start to throw up. Oh, oh, it's, oh, so what else is I'm new? It's wow, did I get through the entire the adventure course. being the, literally the only person who didn't throw up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got you. It's no. gut-wrenching. <laughs> As you are thrown <laughs> back into your body and you look forward and you see a couple of figures that you don't recognize. Some of them have fallen unconscious on the ground, but there is one still standing there, a small gnome cleric with the same holy symbol that you have is standing there with her mace outstretched. Um, and in front of her is a Serac. He is looking upset and horrified and angry and he says no not no and he goes into dust yeah. and the gnome turns to you and says well thanks for all of your help glad that you decided to wake up now after we killed everything <laughs> well right? uh and you hear a <laughs> you hear a sound behind you as um, a couple dozen Aarakocra with Grung riding them in ghostly forms swoop behind you and you hear, thank you, as they float off <laughs> You're somewhere. You're welcome! You yeah. see Gelrin Foehammer. That's, that's, th that's Thursday for you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you see Gelrin Foehammer stride out of the broken uh, soulmonger in his ghostly form and says, drink into you and I get where I need to be. And as he takes a swig, he, he vanishes. And then this giant dragon, this still resplendent even in an, a ghostly form, even as a spirit comes, appears, and fills the room and says, I was wondering how long it would take for you to arrive. And the small little gnome says, oh, you were the one. I thought I, that was, that was, don't call me again. This sucked. This, all of this sucked. And now I gotta go revive them and, uh, all right. Hey, hey Lung, that's a cleric of Solomon. Oh, I know. Yeah. Look at attitude on that thing. I, I, I'm Wouldn't you be that way if you're a cleric of Solomon? I, mean, I can't really argue this one. <laughs> the dragon turns to you and says, thank you because of you. I was able to summon my friends and now we have been saved and I will go to see Bahamut, and her form shimmers. Where did you leave your treasure? <laughs> Please tell Roll us. Roll a persuasion check. <laughs> oh, that'll work. Uh, 10. Seriously? <laughs> no, Suck it, I'm leaving it to the cleric that came! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? All the more reason to kill the cleric! Yeah. 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 I know where it is. So mad has got this figure. It's with her horn. <laughs> She's nice. standing there with her hands on her hips, and there she says, well, I guess you're the ones that helped get the word out, so I guess I should thank you too. You wanna help me drag the bodies outside and we'll go revive my friends later? Maybe have a beer? Now you're talking. Okay. Now you're talking. Fair enough. 
And congratulations. <laughs> all right. Yay. We, did it. we released right. all the souls Yay. twice. We three times. We, we, we maybe of. got yeah. three times. Three times. Yeah, yeah, we took a, yeah, absolutely. You had to take that thing out several times. <laughs> Indeed. So It learned the third time. What did you learn? I feel like I should be like, all right, and so now what did you learn? <laughs> Never take a card from a deck. Yeah. Ever. Giant apes are awesome. Giant apes are pretty awesome. Stretch Don't eat a big lunch before adventuring. Game instead no. of reserving them. It's much more fun to play Dungeons and Managers. <laughs> yes. Or successful. I mean, I don't That's know about fun, saying. but she was definitely very I successful. Know. So, Kennedy, uh, did you have, a, you have a good time with yeah. the game session? First time playing, so. Yeah, yeah. Job. First great time job. Aww. Well, wow. it was an honor to uh, be part of your first Dungeons and Dragons That's session. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, and uh, thank you for coming. joining us on uh, Extra Life today. Welcome. <laughs> and thank you for all for, for bearing with me. Thank oh, you. Well, no. Thank you for, for DMing. You for Thanks to our donors, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for everyone donating. This everybody. is the reason that we did this. So. Do you want to go around one by one and be like, hey, where you can donate more and, and where the people can follow us and whatnot? That sounds yeah. great. All right, you start first. Okay, I'm Lauren. You can find me at OboCrazy on Twitter. At go to the Wizards of the Coast Extra Life page. Wizards of the so it's. I don't know. We'll what put it. We'll put it in the chat. Look yeah. at the chat. Look online. You'll find it. Extralife.wizards.com. Um, Extralife.wizards.com. Go there. Find someone to donate to and donate because it all goes to the same wonderful place. Thank you. Woo. Uh, yeah. Same as that. Uh, we have lots of streaming going on later on today. I'll get to hosting about that later. Uh, we're going to take a, a short break after this. After we everybody goes and does their thing. Uh, but uh, yeah, still have stuff to donate there. You can follow me at Greg Tito on Twitter. Uh, where can people? F you know, even on I'm the not, Don't look for me on social media. If you know, you know who you are. Uh, thank you for donating already. <laughs> My page is still up. And everybody else, please, so much great stuff. I'm gonna watch later with Sean's game and Chris's game and stuff and Mike's. Keep keep it coming. Yeah, and thanks for everyone, all the, all the friends and stuff who donated. Uh, you can find me at cat k a t v Harris uh, on the Twitters and the other social medias. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be watching online and, and be in the chat later today too. So, yeah, awesome. thanks. Uh, you can find me online uh, at TrickMTG. Uh, it's where I do a lot of my social media for D and D and for Magic. Uh, thank you so much to all the donors and to those of you who watch the, the game. Cool. Uh, I'm Mike Selinger here and always, uh, but also on Twitter and. Uh, uh, thanks to everybody. I want to say a special shout out to everybody who donated in my man Steptoe's name. Really yes. appreciate it. That was a real nice thing y'all did. Uh, so thanks a lot. Hey, I'm Kennedy. You can find me nowhere, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> right here. <laughs> yeah, you can find me here. But hey, uh, all my friends and my mom and dad, hey, hi. There you Bye. go. Good okay. job. <laughs> Uh, and I'm Bart Carroll. You can find me on Twitter, Bart underscore Carroll. Uh, and, and from myself, thanks for everyone who, oh, as I throw, my, throw my things. Uh, thanks for everyone who donated their time today. It's greatly appreciated. And thanks to our dungeon master, Laura Urban. Yay. Laura Yay. Urban. Yay. The big bad baby herself. Uh, all, all of the bad guys. <laughs> mm. So yes, uh, let's take a quick break, and we're going to reset pretty quickly for the next game coming up at uh, 2 o'clock with uh, Sean Wood and the Lost Kenku. Should be exciting. Yay. Stay tuned. <laughs>